cause she too messy. Fuck mm. them bro boys with. Get out my section. Get out my section. I pull the muscle. God damn, too much flexion. Damn. Caught them in traffic on the accident. We pressing. Got them. Smoking Zaza every second. I be stressing. They ain't tryna be them, fuck it, won't you stretch them, do that They wipe their nose for that tissue, God bless them, wipe it I dropped the four, perp, I call that shit cause Weber drink They wipe their nose for that tissue, God bless them, wipe it I dropped the four, perp, I call that shit cause Weber drink I'm the huncho, bitch, I'm about my cheddar Little hoe keep going out sad, little bitch do better, bitch She want me to hit it, put my blinky on the dresser Got you. Feeling free and just like Elon, part of Tesla. I be you ain't got no motion, you can't stand up in my session. Yeah. I said, Carisha, please, you, cause she too messy. Please. Bitch, fuck my dog behind my back, but I ain't stressing. Not at all. You wanted the game, you should've just said it, we would've blessed it. Should've just said it. Now she got messy. Hey, Norm Tone Bite, Norm Tone Bite, Norm Tone Bite. We back, Ratchet Gang. We back with another one. We back with another banger. Get the likes up. Look, you might have forgot. Hell, they might have forgot. But you already know, it's the king. Too loyal, Norm Tone Bite, Ratchet TV. Hey, I right, y'all already know, man. Y'all already know. Get the likes up if you in the building. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell so you can get the drop whenever I drop. All right, so boom. Man, 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 man. We got to talk ratchet, gang. We got to chop it up tonight. Tonight, we got to chop it up about this Diddy situation, man. It's been so much going on. It, it was so much going on. I had to take a day off, man. I was like, you know what, man? Let me just rest my brain because I know we in for some ish and it's not even just about this i just know there's some other stuff going on mm -hmm. and by other stuff i mean this is small compared to the cover-up and, and it's a lot going on man you better look into the look into the red sea you might see some ish but i ain't even finna get to that story salute godson salute king uh, Monte, I appreciate both of y'all. Salute guys on that 20 piece McNugget. He said, get the likes up, y'all. Get the likes up. Salute to King Monte. I appreciate, <laughs> I appreciate you, gang. Salute, salute, salute. All right. So, um, but nah, we ain't gonna even get to that. That's too deep. But we got to chop it up about this Diddy situation. Cause there's some, there's some stuff going on and there's been a lot of information pouring. And I mean, pouring out. And I know that somebody is in for a might be a, somebody might have to sacrifice something here here pretty soon. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Allegedly, uh, allegedly, and everything I say is alleged, and it's all under the fair use act. And you can see the fair use disclaimer in the description of this video, and in the description of all my videos. This is just for entertainment and educational purposes only. This is just to educate my people on what we've been covering over here. Like I said, it's all under the Fair Use Act, and you can see the Fair Use disclaimer in the description of this video. And everything I say is alleged. Allegedly. Salute Binky on that 20 piece. I missed you, Ratchet. Salute, I missed y'all as well. You know I had to pop back out, man. I, I, that's why I came live early, because I'm going to be real. We might be here. We might be here for about three hours tonight, man. It's, it's looking like it might be one of them nights where we might just be here. We might just be here. I ain't going to even lie to y'all. So I, I was like, let me just go ahead and go live early, because... It's just too much going on, and I don't even know where to begin or where to start, but we're going to figure out a point, and we're going to get to it. But before we do anything, I don't know if it's just because I'm live early or what, but y'all get these likes. So let's get to 300, man. I need 50 people to hit that like button right now. I need 50 likes right now. Go ahead and get them likes up. Salute to everybody. Hit the like button as you come into the live. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you want to support the channel, dollar sign Ratchet TV or send a super chat, super sticker. Uh, I appreciate all this. Salute to y'all. If you don't, if you don't want to support, then salute. Just support the channel by hitting that like button. Salute, salute, salute. All right. So 
have y'all been keeping up with this Diddy situation? Let me know if y'all have. I, I want to know if if anybody in the gang has been keeping up with this chaos that's been surrounding Diddy. Drop the gems if you have. Drop the eyeballs if you still you, you you don't know what the hell is going on in this Diddy situation. Drop the gems if you've been if you've been doing a good job at keeping up. Let me know in the chat, man. And y'all wake y'all asses up. Let's go. We finna get to it. I got a lot to talk about because I'm going to be real. It This situation, and I keep telling y'all, it reminds me so much of the R. Kelly situation. It's like they're tying their hands. Oh, excuse me, not tying their hands. They're tying Diddy's hands. Diddy's hands are tied because he knows so much. But they just set him up because they knew where all his, you know what I'm saying, tapes was at. He kept all his tapes at the spots. So they went to the spots and got the tapes. They wasn't going in there looking for nothing except for audio and video. That's all they were looking for. Anything that was audio or video recorded, because they they people been spilling the beans on Diddy has been illegally recording these parties. These little orgy parties, these Diddy parties. He's been allegedly illegally filming people and using that as, you know what I'm saying, bait for some other ish. So he's been blackmailing people allegedly. He's been allegedly going behind the scenes doing a whole lot of, you know what I'm saying, he's been doing a whole lot of iffy stuff, man. Let's just keep it a big buck. Man, 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 man. All right, so let's get to this. It says, right, Ratchet. It says, salute. Salute everybody in the building. Let's get these likes up, man. All right, so I'm I'm gonna get ready to play some videos, and we're gonna go over some. First of all, let's get to hold on. Let me open up this receipt folder real quick. Let's go ahead and address this real quick. It's some it's some ish that's been going on with this Daphne chick and the young Miami as well. So, do y'all feel like Fifty Cent's baby mama? Uh. Do you feel like 50 Cent's baby mama, Daphne, do you feel like she was one of the sex workers? Because allegedly they got something on her that says she was definitely. Well, this is coming from Lil Rod. Lil Rod is so key in this because the investigation came due to Lil Rod, Lil Rodney. You know what I'm saying? If it wasn't for him, this whole thing doesn't even take place. Well, you know what I'm saying? You can. You might you might beg to differ, but I think once his lawsuit came out, as soon as Lil Rod uh, lawsuit came out, it was up. Now everybody been acting, my everybody been acting real different. My everybody been acting real different. So let's get to this real quick. Matter of fact, y'all better get over to my Instagram if you're not on my Instagram. Y'all should be on my Instagram. If not, The Ratchet TV, man. Make sure y'all on my Instagram, The Ratchet TV, if you're not on my Instagram. Salute. If you are, then, hey, you know what I'm saying? You already know. But check this out. Curtis, what's good, man? You and your feelings about Daphne? Is she with gang them? Or is it that you sucking little rod dick? <laughs> How it go? I want you to fade, nigga. Fuck all that. Since it's entertainment... Let me beat the shit out of you on TV or something. Don't duck that. I'm calling you out. What you want to do, Curtis? Curtis! Cur- so, Stevie J is upset. Everybody's been in an uproar ever since this Diddy news has been dropping. Everybody has been in an uproar. I'm talking about the industry is upside down right now. Curtis! He calling Curtis out. The man is mad. The man is upset. He didn't lost his damn mind. Stevie J didn't popped out, y'all. He was doing gospel music last night, and he woke up in this mood. He was doing gospel music on live, and then he woke up in this mood. They said, "What's Stevie going to do, man?" Stevie, that they released it. That I told y'all, I've been seeing that footage on Stevie. I don't know why everybody acting like this is new. I told y'all that there was pictures of Stevie J, and I had them. I just couldn't post them. I told y'all that I seen them documents. Uh, what a month? Well, that, I seen that during the Cassie shit, or w- w- excuse me, whenever this shit first popped off, the little ride shit first popped off. I already had that shit right after the Cassie shit. Uh, little ride dropped his uh 
he dropped those allegations on Stevie and I seen it in the paperwork. I, I had the paperwork and I was live when I was telling y'all and I was like, man, they got a weird picture of Stevie in here. And I was like, I can't show this, but this is loose. And it was some weird stuff. And I told y'all it was with a, you know what I'm saying? A, a Caucasian male. It was Stevie J and he looked like he was clapping some cheeks. And uh, 50 Cent been teasing him about this. So let's get to it. Curtis, what's good, man? You and your feelings about Daphne? Is she with gang them? So he says Daphne's with gang them. So he's, uh, so the allegations ain't even allegations at this point because this sounds like he's confirming the allegations. He said, are you mad because Daphne would gang them? And it sounds like gang them is the criminal organization. Like, why would Stevie J go live and say that Daphne was with gang them? And then in the paperwork, it says that she was a, a worker that was doing favors sexually, allegedly. And this is a, this was in the paperwork. I'm not making this up. This is what was in the paperwork. So why would Stevie J get up there and say, are you mad because Daphne was with gang them? What does what does that mean, y'all? Tell me in the chat. What what did he mean by that? Let's get back to it. Or is it that you sucking little Rod dick? So now, now he's mad at Lil Rod. And Lil Rod is the one who put it in the paperwork that Daphne was one of these workers. So which one is it? I don't I don't understand what Stevie J's angle is right here. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I don't get Stevie J's angle right now, but he wants to he wants to fade. He wants the fade. I got this going viral on YouTube right now. I got this going viral on YouTube right now. Let's keep this a book, y'all. <laughs> How we go? I want you to fade, nigga. Fuck all that. Since it's entertainment, let me beat the shit out of you on TV or something. Don't duck that. I'm calling you out. What you want to do, Curtis? Curtis! Curtis. Yeah, so again, y'all, y'all see Stevie J. He's upset at Curtis. He is highly upset at Curtis. Make sure y'all get on my Instagram if you want this stuff first, man. If you want it first before I go live, you got to be tapped into my Instagram. It's going to be there or my TikTok somewhere. It's going to be, well, you know, it's going to be on my Instagram. Ten times out of ten, it's on my IG. Tone bite. Tone bite. But yeah, Curtis, I don't know, fam. You got a lot of, you got some explaining to do, Curtis, because this dude, want, he wants to fade with Curtis. And that's a good way to start the show off right there. Stevie J wants to fight 50 Cent. This man wants to fade. Ain't nothing you can do about it, uh, 50. You're going to have to get this man his fade. At some point, y'all going to run into each other. And I, don't, I think he can't wait to run into you. I'm going to be real, 50. I don't think he can wait to run into you. <sighs> Curtis, you in for a fight, dog. I'm going to be real. What do y'all think about that? I don't know, fam. Curtis got to fight. He gonna have to fight that man. I'm I'm just gonna be real. They gonna have to go ahead and shoot the fade. You know what I'm saying? Like whack 100 be saying you gonna have to run my fade, man. He gonna be feeling like whack. All right, let's get to this one right here. Let's get to this receipt right here. Uh, this comes from the chick that he talking about that was with gang and them. Hold on, here you can't make this type of shit. This type of shit up. So Daphne, it says I am deeply hurt by the lies in Rodney Jones lawsuit. The claim that I am a sex worker is 100% false and character assass assassination. I am retaining an attorney to explore all legal remedies against both Rodney and his attorney. So now not only did Stevie J upset, Daphne then came out the woodworks. She is upset. Now she says she getting a lawyer. You can't make this shit up, man. You cannot make this up. So hold on. We got more here. We got more from Daphne. And she continues. It says, Curtis James Jackson. Everything is a joke to you until our safety is compromised, which is happening now. You are wreaking real havoc, frenzy, and chaos onto people's lives. How would you feel if Sire was the one in handcuffs for nothing. We moved to New York to give you the opportunity to be a father to your son, and you saw him 10 times out of the two years we lived one mile away from you. I am tired of upholding and protecting an image to our son that you have never 
even earned. Let's put the real focus on your true evil actions of R wording me and physically abusing me. You are no longer my oppressor, and my God will handle you from this point on. You have permanently damaged the uh, the last hope I had for you as a father to preserve our family with these last final false claims made against me. You have broken our hearts for the last and final time. Man, 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 man. <clears throat> so Daphne Joy says 50 R worded her. She said, let's focus, let's put the real focus on your true evil actions of R wording me and physically abusing me. So <clears throat> now Daphne got her own claims out there about 50. She's saying, hey, y'all over here, whoop de whoop de whoop, but this man didn't R worded me. So now 50 is over here joking about her, uh, you know what I'm saying, her being a, a, a worker when he didn't took it from her. And he talking about Diddy take that, take that. 50, 50, you and Diddy out here taking it, man. You and Diddy is allegedly out here taking it, 50. So you over here laughing about Diddy. Meanwhile, you taking it from your baby mama. Come on, fam. You can't make this type of shit up. Now your allegations going to be out there because you playing with you. You should have just stayed in the background and stopped trolling. And then you got this over here. When you go into the archives, you start to see some ish. Hold on, I got I don't want to play the audio. Hold on, hold on. Let me get the audio out of here real quick. Hold on one second, one second, one second. I don't want to play the audio with it because I'm going to show y'all something. Hold on. I don't want to get them on my, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know how these motherfuckers like to. Damn, my fucking shit be freezing. Give me one second, y'all. Let me pull this audio off of here real quick. Give me one second. Now, I don't want to get no damn. But, nah, this is uh Stevie J over here with his. I'm going to show you Stevie J ain't got a leg to stand on either. I'm going to show y'all something. Give me one second. All these people finna go down. Just watch. Stevie J over here with his fist balled up. And meanwhile, well, just watch what I'm going to show y'all with this dude. Hold on. Give me one second, Stevie. Give me one second, Mr. Stevie. Stevie Jordan. Give me one second. I got you. All right, here we go. Boom. All right, here we go. Where is the audio? Boom. There you go. All right, boom. There you go. Now look at this. Let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all something real quick. Now listen to this. Now watch this. Watch this. Hey, that, that's T game right there. Yeah. Little Rod. We got this joint called Surgical. It's out right now. All platforms. That's Lil Rod right there with Stevie. What is you doing? That's your boy Lil Rod right there, right? <clears throat> Come on, dog. So Stevie and Lil Rod. It looks like Lil Rod's claims is all, you know what I'm saying, going to come out. Stevie, you was getting down, bro. Y'all made Lil Rod feel like a star, man. <sighs> it's all recorded, Stevie. Stevie and Lil Rod right here in the studio. <clears throat> man, man, man. I ain't going to play the music, but they playing the damn. That's, that's him and Lil Rod in the studio right there. That's my boy Lil Rod. Right yeah. My brother Little Rod. Yeah, that's my brother Lil Rod. That's my brother Lil Rod right there. They got an album out right now. They got a song out right now on all platforms. He promoting Lil Rod right here. This is when he said they was making him feel like a star, like he was gonna be a Grammy Award winning artist. Come on, dog. You over there with Lil Rod, fam. <clears throat> Come on, Stevie. Come on, Stevie. He just got tired of y'all BSing with him. He got tired of being in that circus. I don't blame him after all the allegations coming out about y'all, fam. I don't even blame this dude. Man, 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 man. Give me one second. That shit keep on. I can't even get out of it. It won't even let me out of it. Give me one second, y'all. All right. But yeah, I don't know what the hell going on with my damn Instagram. All right, so let me get back to this. So, all right, let's get to these videos. I want to show y'all something else real quick. We got 2,000 people in here. I need y'all to go ahead and hit the like button. Now, let's get to this. Let's get to this video right here real quick. Man, 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 man. 
JT was really trying to figure out what Young Miami had going on. Now listen to this. Young Miami been getting down. Where you know me from? I don't know. You don't remember? We went on, uh, where did we go? We went on a trip. You don't remember where we went? You know how she know this chick. She looking like, what the hell you got going on? No, it was like a group of us. <laughs> I can't remember. Oh, yeah, I know you. That's where I know you from. I know. Where? You remember now? Oh, okay. The Dubai okay. trip. <laughs> the Dubai trip. <laughs> well, now we're here. <laughs> yeah, that's when she sold her damn soul to Diddy. Look, she like, that's where I know you from. And she looking like, what the fuck you do? The hell happened over there? Girl, that was not what I was trying to talk about. <laughs> Did you know it's the fifth? Do you know it's the fiftieth day of hip hop? So let's play that one more time. Where you know me from? I don't know. You don't remember? We went on. Uh, where did we go? We went on a trip. Do you don't remember where we went? No, it was like a group of us. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, I know you. That's why I know you from. I know. Where you remember now? Oh, okay. The Dubai right. <laughs> well, now we're here. <laughs> Girl, that was not what I was trying to talk about. Did you know it's the fifth? Do you know it's the fiftieth day of hip hop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see the that's when that's when they reunited right there. You know, come on now, you can't make all this shit up. That girl been a worker for Diddy. She been getting down. And she JT over there looking like, hold on, girl. What the hell you got? What what you really got going on? What you and Diddy over there doing in Dubai? I mean, now the allegations of you over there, they saying young Miami out there with pink cocaine and so they over there mixing drugs. Young Miami is one of his workers with, with the, they said JT face says it all. Man, you can't make this type of shit up. So let's get, let's get back into these receipts, man. Let's get into these. Let's get to this real quick. Hold on, man. So what? Do you, first of all, I want to ask y'all before we get back to these videos, what do y'all think about 50 Cent Baby Mama dropping the R word receipts on him? Well, not the receipts. I would say allegations. What do y'all feel about Diddy, um, excuse me, 50 Baby Mama dropping them allegations on him? What do y'all feel about that? Let me know in the chat right now. What do y'all feel about 50 Cent? Do you feel like they're... That's true. Do y'all feel like she just throwing it in there because he said something about her? Let me know. Matter of fact, let me ask y'all in the chat. Let me see. Let me see. Who is the real monster? Is it Diddy? Is it 50? Or is it both of them? Let me know. Is it both of them? This or is it this Diddy or is it 50? Is 50 a monster or is it Diddy? Is it both of them at this point? Do you believe that shit that came out about 50 Cent? Let me know in the chat. If you do believe it, drop the gems. If you think she lying, drop the caps. If you do believe that he R-worded his baby mama, drop the gems. If you think that she lying, drop the caps. Meanwhile, we finna get back into these receipts. Let's go. I'm talking about Diddy been doing this for a real long time, bro. He been doing this for a long time. And now another artist, this artist didn't wait 10 years. You know what I'm saying? I want to get into this real quick, man, before we really even get started into this. And it's because something I seen today, this girl, Tiffany Red, she said that she was filing a claim against Diddy. But it, my man, it touched me crazy, man, because the hurt, Get the likes up, y'all. Get the likes up. Smash that like button. That I seen in her voice, in her, her, she crying, man, and she worrying about what this dude could do to her and what he has done to her. Man, listen here. I want to let this young lady know, and I know this is not the place for it, brother, but please allow me to say this to her, man. Salute to Beverly Ann. I appreciate you. For that 25 piece on Cash App, salute to you. Uh, excuse me, that 20 piece on Cash App. I said, I bet 50 stops speaking her name. I bet he do too. I bet 50 won't say nothing else about his baby mama. You know what I'm saying? I started this battle long time ago. And the situation is, is that, bruh, we already won. This was some spiritual sh that popped. The spirit of pop, the spirit of big, 
the spirit of Miss Jones, the spirit of Wolf, all the people that he has done wrong. And if you're listening to those names, we've covered all of this. Listen to see now. This is not just something. Even, like I said, even if Diddy is getting set up right now, and I do feel like Diddy is being set up. Just listen to me. I feel like he's rightfully so because Diddy is tied into so much more. It's not just about these allegations that are against him. I think everybody's forgetting about Kim Porter. I think everybody's forgetting about the long. I don't even you, you can just start name dropping people in the chat. I don't have to sit here and tell y'all every name of some Biggie, Tupac, Kim Porter. The list goes on and on. Uh, His ex bodyguard, Wolf. The list goes on and on, man. Heavy D. You can just keep naming names in the chat. Spiritual sh that pop, the spirit of pop, the spirit of big, the spirit of Miss Jones, the spirit of Wolf, all the people that he has done wrong, you know, since so black, all the people that he has done wrong, bro, is coming to light. We already won this sh spiritual. What we going through right now with these trials and everybody, you know, with this financial situation and everything like that, all that is superficial. That's that, that's the, that's the physical part of it. The spiritual part of it was one because big Pac, wolf, wolf mother, all the people that he did wrong, bro. You understand? They already won the battle where we were supposed to win it at. So he just, you can you gotta you gotta stop and think about all the karma did he getting right now. Will B, I appreciate you for that twenty piece McNugget. Salute, Will B. I appreciate you. Salute, salute. So you gotta stop and think about. I think everybody forget about Wolf and Kim Porter. I'm gonna be real. I, I don't see no, enough people covering Wolf's story at all. I barely hear Kim Porter's name. I, I hear it every, uh, here and there just when Diddy name come up. But a lot of people stopped talking about Kim Porter a long time ago. So now we just going through the physical part of it, man. And I want that girl to know, man, that she ain't got to fear no man. She ain't got to fear him, nobody else, man. Whenever she needs, you understand? Whenever she needs somebody to travel, to go with her, to make sure she all right, you know, I'm a phone call away, man. I'm a phone call away. So Jane Deal saying, hey, look, just hit my line. You need protection. I got you. No Big Gene on, on, on the job. Big Gene is on the job, gang. Get them likes and up. And, you know, go ahead with your questioning, man. I just had to get that out, man, because that girl touched a lot of people, man, because all she wanted to do was write music, make music, and, 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 and show her talent and her love to the people, man. And then she got to feel this way, be fearful and scared of her life and stuff like that. Ma, I ain't scared of no man. You understand? I ain't scared of no man. Nobody that got to put their pants on the same way I do. Not at all. Big Gene said he on the job, gang. Make sure y'all smash the likes. What do y'all think about this, though, man? Diddy got a dark, dark past. His past goes a long way, and a lot of people forget about Diddy's dark past and a lot of his secrets. With, from his ex-artists blackmailing them, them. Okay, how many artists do you think then been to a Diddy party, you know what I'm saying, then done some ish, whether that be some illegal narcotics or, you know what I'm saying, going a different way than they should, you know what I'm saying, normally. And and that being caught on film and Diddy being like, you you forgot what you did in my party. I got that on camera. And, hey, you say something if you want to. You for strong arm and a broke young artist. And, and, and back then, you got to think, it wasn't no social media and shit. And, 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 they can, and people could go away <laughs> a lot easier. People could go away a lot easier back then. Let's keep that a book. And they could they could be quiet a lot easier. And shit, would, they, it would just be in like a magazine or a news That's article. Good. You know what I'm saying? But it wouldn't be all on social media because it wasn't no social media. So stay woke, stay woke, y'all. People that don't know who Tiffany Red is, that's Cassie's best friend. That's one of Cassie's friends. She was writing a lot of music. And she said that she was writing music for her friends to get raped to. Oh, my God. Man, come on, man. Start with your interview. Uh, I'm sorry about that, brother, man. That's just, it's, it's, it's crazy to me, man. Man, you know, uh, uh, Leopard don't change his spots. And Diddy been doing this for a real long time, bro. He been doing this for a long time. And now another artist, this artist didn't wait 10 years. She didn't wait 10 years at all. And like I said, a lot of people are feeling like, man, this is, 
this is not just about what's going on uh with uh this is not just this is not just about what's going on right now with uh after the Cassie situation. This this is a long list, a long, long list of, of Diddy doing a lot of shit to a lot of people. I mean, a lot of people still feel like Diddy. I mean, uh, I said Diddy, Biggie. A lot of people feel like Biggie. A lot of people feel like he did something to Biggie. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? He set up Shine. J-Lo got the hell away from him. Everybody Diddy then came across. Put it like this. Who has left Diddy in a great situation? Who has Diddy put in a great situation? Just, okay, do me a favor in the chat. Name one artist that left Diddy and is in a great situation now. Name one. <clears throat> Who did he put in a in a good situation? Been rocking with the king since Alexis Ware. Salute to you, Christian Cooley. I appreciate you for being a member for seven months. Matter of fact, drop them flowers for Christian Cooley, y'all. Salute. I appreciate you for being down for seven months. Salute, salute, salute. So tell me right now. They said, no one, no one, none, none. There is none. There is none, 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 no one. Somebody said Mace. Man, ain't no way in hell he put Mace in a better situation. Do you not remember Pastor Mace? Having... Come on, stop. Uh, they said, no one. I can't believe somebody really put Mace. Uh, salute for that five piece. I appreciate you. Uh, who is that to send me that five piece? Salute to Ed, Ed's hair braided too. I appreciate you for that uh, uh, five piece. Salute to you. So let's get to the next video, man. I don't know what the hell somebody told my Mace for. I don't believe Mace. I don't feel like Mace was, you know what I'm saying, had nothing to do with shit. So let's keep this a book. Let's get to it. We almost got 3,000 people in here, y'all. We need these likes up to 1,000. We should have 1,000 likes by now, man. I need 100 people to hit that like button right now. Can I get 100 people in the building to hit that like button? And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let's go. So the good investigators over on Twitter is clocking JT for doing something that looks a little suspicious, a little felonious, but I don't know. Now her head goes out of the view of camera, but you can hear some noises. So I'm gonna play the video. A lot of y'all probably gonna remember this video because I remember when it was going viral and everybody was saying is that, you know what I'm saying? Watch y'all words in the comments though. Please use code words and not the actual words because they on my head. But y'all watch this video. Y'all let me know what y'all think and we'll talk about it after. It's, it's, it's gonna take for a bitch to knock your teeth out one time. <laughs> I'm just playing, baby. Mm -mm. Nobody ain't knocking my motherfucking teeth out. We should always explain that. Now here's the guy. I don't know, y'all. Hold on. What 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 what, what does she have going on right there? I'm just playing, baby. Look at mm -mm. Nobody ain't knocking my motherfucking teeth out. We should always explain to knock your teeth out one time. I'm just playing, baby. Look at Carisha mm -mm. Nobody ain't knocking my motherfucking So Carisha probably out. gave her some of that pink stuff. Carisha probably gave her some of that pink stuff from Diddy. Now, here's the gotcha gotcha. JT in the comments being so mean and nasty to her actual fans for making an observation. I mean, what are, what are they supposed to think that you're actually doing when you're, you, you know, it kind of do. Look, look at her response, though. It's actually corny. Like, JT is so mean-spirited. It's so disgusting. She's talking about something. You ain't never had mucus. Not like that. <laughs> sure have not. Yeah, so now they blaming it on mucus. Now I guess all of a sudden they don't do drugs. Whoop de whoop de whoop. Everything's starting to come to light and everything's starting to make sense. If you go back and look at a lot of stuff, you're gonna start to be like, hold on, thug. It, it, these motherfuckers, they, they was playing in our face this whole damn time. They've been playing in our face this whole damn time. Let's let's chop it up with this. Let's chop it up, gang. Hold on. Let's let's listen to this real quick. Let's listen to this. Let's listen to this real quick. R. Kelly reportedly speaks from prison on Diddy's current situation. Oh, y'all don't watch. This ain't no damn R. Kelly, but listen to the to the words. People just be uh, trolling. But listen to this, though. Pete, the news in there, they don't got the news on the TV. Oh, you talking about P.D.? Yeah, it's in the same, Yeah, bro. man, yeah, that's all over the news. I see, we see that. We watch that. And what's crazy is, what you know, I know, you know, because we just been in the very summer, is, is once they, and I hope they don't, but if they... That came him. That's when all nigga niggas motherfuckers gonna be lining up with their hand in there. So I'm saying, man, see the bad part about him. This is what I don't understand about this all this shit, motherfucker. If there was a time, right, 
where this was a play, this was y'all party, this was y'all make it like if you was um uh, a participant, right, and you of legal age, I don't understand what all the hoopla all of a sudden is against the wheel, it's against the wheel. Man, what's so you just came back to three hundred parties, motherfucker, against the wheel. <clears throat> all this shit you gotta damn it get a turn on your camera. Let a motherfucker tell you who they is. Put their ID up. Let a motherfucker tell you where they at because any given Sunday, right, when a motherfucker want to go bad, they can extort you or come with the accusations. Shit, man, crazy. shit is crazy, man. It's crazy. That's why I say motherfuckers, motherfuckers going to be out there laughing and, make, and making comedian jokes and doing all that other shit on the radio and everything else, but they ass could be next. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's what's so yeah, fucked up about it. It's so stupid. They so stupid they don't even realize the move that's going on. I mean it's crazy, yeah, man. Real shit. I mean that's why I don't believe none of the shit. I mean no, you can tell I told me funny. Up, bro. you can tell me about anybody and now. You can tell me uh, the on the news the weather is, is the sky is blue, I'm not gonna believe. Oh, sorry. Fuck. Got this Yeah, like listen, I told at when it first started with Cassie, I said, Yo, we'll come with the accusations. Shit, man, shit is crazy, man. It's crazy. That's why I say motherfuckers, motherfuckers can be out there laughing and, make, and making comedian jokes and doing all that other shit on the radio and everything else, but they ass could be next. You know yeah. what I'm mean? saying? That's what's so yeah, fucked up about it. It's so stupid. They so stupid they don't even realize the move that's going on. I mean, it's crazy, yeah, man. Real shit. I mean, that's why I don't believe none of the shit. I mean, no, I told them straight funny. up, bro. You can tell me about anybody and now. You can tell me yeah. the, on the news the weather is, is the sky is blue. I'm not going to believe the shit, though. No. Because I'm Listen. in it now. I know what they did. Yeah, like, listen, I told at, when it first started with Cassie, I said, yo, nigga, this is a stick-up move. All oh, the balls, that nigga, I just came out and said, hey, listen, these are my sexual preferences. Yes, I'm bi or whatever the fuck, and these right. motherfuckers, they're trying to extort me. So do y'all feel like they are trying to extort Diddy? That's what they're saying, that these people trying to extort Diddy right now, y'all. Are they trying to extort Diddy? Let me know in the chat if, if y'all feel like they are trying to extort Diddy right now. Because that's what, you know what I'm saying? They say money. Kales. Is this Kales, y'all? Is this the real Kelly? Is this the real R. Kelly speaking on Diddy? Is this the real R. Kelly? Let me know in the chat. I, to be real, I don't believe shit no more since AI. Ever since AI, I just stopped believing a lot of shit. I, I've been seeing and even the videos and images, man, I I be getting scared now. And it's a lot of spooky shit going on in this industry. Let me know in the chat, though. And I'm tired of it. They know that I'm in the music industry and boom, boom. They saying no. Some people say yes. Some people say no. I'm just, I don't believe it. But let's go. Let's. We, we, I'm listening to WAC 100, though, because he, he's saying they're trying to extort Diddy. Do y'all feel like they extorting him? Drop the gems if they extorting Diddy. Drop the caps if y'all feel like that's some bullshit, man. Hell no, nah, Diddy deserved this. Drop the gems if you feel like Diddy is, is being set up, extorted, something going on in this situation. Let me know if they if they trying to R. Kelly Diddy right now. Nigga, they would have ate her up and, and stood, but but now they using that, they using that against him that but now it's getting to a point to where, you know, it's getting to a point to where it's like, nigga, you you, you gonna have to say something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, but he, not, but he, 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 he ain't flee though. I don't, you know. Nah, he ain't. They, no, no, he ain't. They, they didn't raid it. You know, they ran up in his cribs, but you know. Yeah, I saw that. This, this how you know it's weak. You know, usually when they run up in the nigga house, they coming to get you too. Yeah. They look at, they still searching and looking. Like, that nigga ain't on the run. Or that they ain't telling him to come turn himself in and no shit like that. They grounded his plane because they seen him moving. He wasn't even on the plane. They wanted to make sure he wasn't because they, they probably didn't restrict his passport and shit. Out. So now they're saying the case has to be weak because if they truly had a case, they would have came and got everybody. And and I'm going to say right now that got some type of truth to it. Now you've already alerted them and tipped them what you're looking for. Now you've already. So if I, I mean, you wouldn't think now that he's been alerted that he would keep and continue doing some illegal stuff so you've already pretty much shot your load so whatever came up in that search is pretty much what you got and you it didn't lead to an immediate arrest so that makes me feel like y'all went in there to, to protect somebody else that's what i start feeling like now i start i already told y'all i feel like he was being set up already now i feel like they definitely went in that house 
to protect somebody else, and it definitely ain't Diddy. He the scapegoat, but I don't know what they got on him just yet. As of yet, as of now, you know, but yeah, this shit is crazy. Yeah, but that's how it all started, though. Right? You understand? Know, started. No, I all know. That. No, I know. It's all that because they don't, you know, it's, it's crazy, man. I know, but see, it they know crazy, fucking but... with him. He got some money, so they know they got to come right. They know if they come half stepping, he do got the money to to to, to fight. So they ain't finna. They ain't go. Well, I do know this: if they do put him in cuffs, they only put him on cu- in cuffs because they got a definite. They got something at that point. So yeah, that, that ain't that ain't necessary. That ain't even necessarily true, right there. What what they they feel like? And that ain't true. But I don't know. I feel like, man, they they could possibly be trying to set Diddy up. You know what I'm saying? Because I already know Diddy got shit on everybody else. But this is a move, Clive Davis. This is a Clive Davis move. I keep telling y'all, stay woke on Clive Davis. Clive Davis' hands is not clean in this Diddy situation. Clive Davis been mad at Diddy ever since that, that shit popped off. Ever since that shit popped off with Deli Young, he been on uh he been on Diddy ass. Not the way Diddy like. Not the way Diddy like. Now let's look at this. Something else that came out today. I will, you know, you know, I'll be everywhere. So something else came out today. It says allegedly Clive Davis handed over video to feds of Jay-Z participating in freak offs. Is this the end of hip hop? What's your thoughts? How many more will be implicated? Do y'all feel like Clive Davis is the one behind the industry being set up right now. Because allegedly Clive Davis, you know, he been pissed off at Diddy and he couldn't wait to get something on Diddy. He couldn't wait to get something on Diddy. And then something else popped off today, too. It's like everybody just been coming out the woodworks with a whole bunch of shit recently. Now, let's look at this. Whenever you come up here and look at this, you get... I'll be sure posted. It says, you know what I'm saying? Letter to my son. Come home. The door is wide open. You're safe here, son. I love you. Pops, you're biological. So he is talking directly to his son and telling him to come home. Now he wants his son to come home and live with him. I don't know, man. It's just a whole bunch of. This situation is starting to get messy. It, it's getting real messy, man. I, I don't know. What do y'all think about that shit popping off? Tell me what y'all think about that one, man. Now you got Al B. Short telling his son to come home. Now come on home, son, man. I'm, I'm your biological dad. I want you home with me. You better you better off here. I don't know, man. This, 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 this shit starting to get real damn loose. Now let's look at this. Let's look, let's look at this. Let's look at this real quick. Get the likes up, y'all. Smash the like button. Hey, I told y'all Diddy ain't going down by itself. Lawsuit claims Diddy had hidden cameras in every room to get blackmail footage of celebrities and politicians. So guess what happens now? If they didn't get hold of this footage on the devices that they got whenever they raided this house, guess what happens? Diddy is going to walk. Diddy is going to walk. They'll do some type of private deal, let them know that they he they got him and he got them meaning we got you we caught you but you got too much evidence you got too much power you got too much too many resources from these cameras and things you had set in place to get us back so what we're going to do is because we got to make it a little bit realistic to the public so you got to do some type of you know five year probation uh maybe do a little time i won't be shocked now i won't be shocked diddy ain't gonna do much shine if he do any at all probably throw him probation, probably throw him a little bit of time just to make it a little real to the public. But as they've been doing now recently, they don't give a damn. They don't give a damn if y'all know they crooked. If they know, if you know the government in the world messed up, they don't give a damn no more. They putting it right in your face, seeing how you react to it. So you already know, man. Let me know what y'all think. So they saying it's possible that nothing even happens to Diddy. And if you judging by the way they came in. I mean, they came in full force like they was going to take down, uh, you know what I'm saying, whoever, wherever, however. And they left, you know what I'm saying, just to look like they was just looking for those audios and videos, like I said, making sure they protected somebody else. They made it look good, though. I ain't going to lie. They sold that shit. 
they sold the hell out of it though. I'm talking about boy, they went in there and sold that everybody. Oh my god, it's over. And they they went in there to protect somebody. I told y'all that it, yeah, they setting Diddy up. Diddy, they tarnishing his whole name and brand. Salute leash on that 10 piece. I appreciate you. Salute, salute, salute. But not only are they tarnishing his whole name and brand. He ain't going to be able to make no damn money in the industry no more. It's over for Diddy. He ain't going to make no more money in the industry. They didn't close the door and turn the water off on his ass. I'm not a lawyer, but let's talk about Diddy. Okay, so everybody knows Diddy's house was raided on Monday. And as of now, there aren't any documents accessible by the public <clears throat> regarding that raid or the ongoing investigation. Again, they didn't sealed everything. You cannot pull up no you can pull up lawsuits. You can't pull up none of this criminal stuff on Diddy at all. So whatever they got going on, it's wrapped. They got it sealed tight. They not talking about it. Everything is speculation, but there is something that I can recap. Okay, so back in February, the fifth civil lawsuit against Diddy was filed by this man whose name is Rodney Jones. Y'all remember this one? Rodney was a producer for the Love album, and his lawsuit included some stories about a redacted R&B singer and a rapper. And that lawsuit also included some images that Rodney claimed to be Stevie J. Well, on Monday, the same day as the raid, that lawsuit was amended like a V2. So let me outline for you the differences between the original lawsuit and the amended lawsuit. All right, so y'all, I need everybody to, you know what I'm saying, fasten your seatbelts tonight. I told y'all, I got, I was live early tonight because it was just going to be one of them nights. I need y'all to just, man, this Diddy story, it it's the story that just keeps giving. It's like the gift that just keeps on giving. If you if you are enjoying content and you like, like a roller coaster ride, this is the gift that just keeps on giving. You ready? First up. Cuba Gooding Jr. has been added to the second lawsuit as a defendant. Cuba Gooding Jr. in the lawsuit now, y'all. Cuba, you you finna be next, bro. They finna get your ass too. Cuba, you on your way out the industry, bro. I bet you won't act no damn more. I bet you Cuba can't get another role. They done with him too. It's over for Cuba. There were claims and pictures made about Cuba essaying and harassing Rodney in the first lawsuit, but that was the extent of it. Now, in this amended complaint, Cuba is officially listed as a defendant, and now cause of action number 12, 13, and 14 are all against Cuba specifically. So now you didn't found your way deep into this lawsuit, Cuba. Salute Jess B for being a member for eight months. I don't know if I shouted you out. I might have missed it. But drop them flowers for Jess B for being a member for eight months. Salute, salute, salute. The next difference is that two of the defendants have been removed on this amended lawsuit. A woman named Ethiopia, I'm not going to try to pronounce her last name. We'll just go with Ethiopia. She was at one point the CEO of Motown Records. Well, according to Docs, in exchange for being removed as a defendant on this lawsuit, Ethiopia has agreed to submit a declaration and if called upon, will testify there too. Salute to Yolanda Matthews for that two-piece on uh, Super Sticker. I appreciate you. Salute, salute. Now, the declaration that she submitted is basically a timeline of her career. When she worked at UMG, when she worked at Motown, who she reported to, etc. So this deal is basically that, if called upon, she will testify there too, meaning what's in her declaration. The other defendant that's been removed from the lawsuit is Chalice Studios, which is a studio... And I, I went over this paperwork. That was the last time I went live. I, I broke down all this damn paperwork for y'all. Like I said, I'll be having all that paperwork. It, it, the paperwork was such a headache, and it was just, man, that Diddy case. This Diddy case, is, is it is crazy, man. Oh, in L.A. And if you need a refresher, Chalice Studios is where Rodney claims that a weapon was discharged by either Diddy or his son in the bathroom, and a man named G was on the receiving end of that discharging of that weapon. Y'all remember that story? And that that was a big part of that lawsuit. It was some weird stuff with Diddy and his son went in their bathroom and allegedly shot their friend or whatever. You follow that? And regarding that incident, there are a few things that have been added to the amended lawsuit. This image of Diddy allegedly at Chalice Studios a couple hours before the firearm got discharged has been added to the suit. As well as this screenshot, which is Rodney alleging that Diddy and his son were hiding out at another studio when the police came to investigate what happened to G. Man, Diddy, the the more, man, just the, the receipts just keep piling up on you, Diddy. 
For you to be a criminal the way you are, you are sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. Rodney notes that Diddy and Jake Holmes were the first to depart after officers left, and the footnote says that this fact will be made crystal clear in discovery. The amended lawsuit also says that there has been no sighting of G, and it says that after the initial lawsuit was filed, someone reached out to a person that knows Rodney attempting to get information about Rodney. So where the hell is G at, y'all? Nobody has seen G. They saying G has vanished. Nobody didn't seen the dude. They couldn't tell you where G was right now. Where the hell is G? Can anybody in this building tell me where G is? I want to know where... Uh, we got to find G, y'all. Yo, Ratchet Gang, let's get on that, man. We got to figure out where G is. They, said, they, said, they put this in the lawsuit that G has been unheard of. They ain't seen the dude. Where the hell is G? that Rodney's daughter was also contacted allegedly by someone connected to Diddy. See, I'm gonna leave that right there. Moving on. Okay, in the first lawsuit, there were some images included of what Rodney alleged was Stevie J engaging in some activities with a man. After the lawsuit came out, Stevie J said that image is not him. And then another man who has an interesting line of work came out and said that that image is of him doing his line of work. So in this amended lawsuit, those pictures are no longer included, but Rodney has a footnote that says that he stands by his position that Diddy provided him with the video and identified the individual in the video as Stevie J. So he's saying he's sticking by his word, but they just took it out the, uh, they just took it out the amended lawsuit. But this is, man, this is a crazy, crazy story. The initial lawsuit included that Diddy's chief of staff, a woman named Christina or KK, required that employees walk around with a black Prada pouch filled with substances. And in this amended lawsuit, Rodney has now included a picture picture of Diddy's butler wearing what he says is one of those pouches. The amendment also includes this picture, which Rodney says is of Brendan Paul. Now, if you've been paying attention to the news. Man, Diddy, the evidence is just piling sky high on your ass right now. I'm going to be real, Diddy. Ain't no way out of this, bro. On Monday, when Diddy was at the airport while his house was being raided, the feds pulled up and there was only one person who was arrested. And that person was 25-year-old Brendan Paul. Brendan was charged with two counts of possession of some stuff and one count of possession of some other stuff. So the first and the amended lawsuit both say that Brendan Paul is Diddy's mule. Yep, Brendan, you, you out of there. And you had it uh, on an airport, you done. So you, go, you just sacrificed whatever for, for Diddy because you are finished. Rodney alleges that Brendan acquires and distributes substances and weapons. Are y'all keeping up? Okay, just a few more things before I go. In this amended complaint, Rodney says Diddy had a few women on a monthly stipend, and he includes who those women are. And Rodney specifically notes that it's unclear if the women who got the stipend were provided the appropriate United States federal tax documents for those payments. So all they workers are finna, they, they, they come in to figure out why y'all had that money and why y'all ain't been paying y'all taxes on that money. What, what's been going on with this money under the table? Where y'all getting this money from? It's a whole nother scheme. See, not Rodney trying to see if they was paying taxes, sir. Last thing, this amended complaint includes a table of Rodney claiming times in which substances were trafficked from one place to another. And at the bottom of the table are some footnotes that I'm just going to leave up so you can read yourself. All right, there are more differences between the initial lawsuit and the amended lawsuit, but these are the big ones. I'll be talking through the rest of them on my podcast. Man, 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 man. You can't make this type of shit up. The evidence is just all in your face. I'm talking about Diddy. Man, the amount of information in this lawsuit against you, it's overwhelming. I ain't gonna lie, man. Diddy, you look bad too. You look bad, Diddy. <clears throat> Let's get back to this. Hold on. Let's get back to this. Next video. Let's get back to it. I'm not a lawyer, but there is a brand new Diddy lawsuit. And this one, y'all. First of all, let's start with the trigger warning that is listed on the front page of the lawsuit. It says that this document contains highly graphic information of... Oh, no, no, no. My bad. That was the one. I, I played the amended one. My bad, y'all. My bad. That's the wrong one. My fault. My fault. I already played the, already played the one I needed. 
So let me get to the next one. My bad. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me one second. Let me get back to it. Because I'll play that shit later. I already had played that one. All right. My bad. My bad. I'm looking for the I'm looking for the line of videos I need. All right, hold on. Is this okay? That was the Cassie one. I'm gonna get to that one later. My bad, y'all. I got this shit all mixed up. My fault, gang. All right, here we go. Let's get back to this. Let's get back to this Diddy case right now. I want to get. I didn't want to go back backtrack. I was gonna uh, play the recaps of, of most of them cases, the but I'll play that later. Belonging to Sean Diddy Combs is back in South Florida, landing at Opalaka Airport before noon on Wednesday. Outside his Star Island home in Miami Beach, two black SUVs guard the property. Today, one of Diddy's security guards seen wearing what appeared to be a bulletproof vest, putting up umbrellas to block the view. What they got going on over there at Diddy Crib? It's been a lot of weird ass activity over there at Diddy House. That's what I'm gonna play here in just a minute. That weird activity that's been going on over there. What they got going on over the there? The star's location remains unknown. We know they got some information. That that information was enough to get them a search warrant signed by a judge. During an interview for this weekend's Voices with NBC6's Jawan Strader, Vic Williams, a retired special agent for Homeland Security Investigations, says prosecutors will need to prove specific elements in this sex trafficking case. Force, fraud, or coercion. Now, you have to have one of those elements. Man, man, man. Now, the only time you don't is when it applies to children. This civil lawsuit filed by Diddy's former producer, Rodney Jones, alleges that he witnessed sex trafficking, the distribution and use of illegal drugs and firearms. <sighs> Diddy... I don't know. Are they going to be able to prove it? Because they saying that's why no arrest have been made. They got to go back and review all this stuff and prove what was going on in this S trafficking organization, criminal organization, RICO enterprise that they trying to say Diddy got going on over here, man. I'm going to be real, man. They saying Diddy got a whole RICO enterprise going on. All right. Hold on. Let, let's get. I don't need this. This is a Joe button. I don't need the Joe button one yet. All right. Let me get back to this one. Right, hold on now let me go back here real quick my bad gang i'm all over the place tonight make sure y'all smash the like button though and tell me what the hell y'all think about this uh hold on i got a whole bunch of goddamn i got a whole bunch of videos tonight man y'all just going to bear with me man all right here we go here we go here we go i found it all right there we go here we go my bad gang all right here we go All right, my bad. Look at this shit. Now look at this shit. Look at this guy. Oh, whoa. Whoa. This all at Diddy's crib, y'all. Yeah, what's the cable about? That is weird. Really. Yeah. How you guys doing? Are you guys working on Diddy's house? Yeah. Wow. New cable or what? <laughs> <laughs> nice. He said they probably ripped it off. So what the fuck is going on over here at Diddy's crib, y'all? What the hell they got going on over here at Diddy House? Let me read some comments real quick. They said straight messy. They said, hold on. They said that's the feds. They said what the freaky, what's with the freaky sounds? They said Diddy knows where G is at. They said that's the feds. I see a lot of people saying that's them people. It's a lot of people saying, hold on, fam, that's the feds. That is not no damn cable dude. So why would Spectrum be over there? You got to look at look at this shit going on over here at Diddy Crib, y'all. Look at this. Look at this guy. Oh, whoa. Yeah, what's the cable about? That is weird. Really. Yeah. Then the Spectrum cable truck pulls up and they start going in the ground for some water. Like, what is y'all, what is the cable people doing over there? How you guys doing? Are you guys working on Diddy's house? Yeah. Wow. New cable or what? <laughs> nice. He said they probably ripped it off.
Yeah, there's some weird shit going on over here, y'all. What they got going on at Diddy Crew? This is riveting exclusives. I mean, I haven't seen anything like this since, uh, oh man, I don't know, since the Jake, the last Jake Paul fight. That was some weird stuff going on over there at Diddy Crib, man. I'm talking about cars speeding, cable companies pulling up, a lot of you know, some, a lot of weird ass spaces. Nobody wants to, nobody want to talk about what's going on with Diddy. It's just a lot of hush, hush. But a lot of stuff going on over there around his crib is just very odd, fam. And now Diddy people, they not speaking out so much. Diddy people don't seem so confident. Look at this. Here go Tommy Hill figure. It's one of Diddy partners. It's one of Diddy boys. You know, he used to be at all them Diddy parties as well. There's a lot of information about him floating around out there. Hey, Mr. Hill figure, how you doing, Mr. sir? Mr. Hill figure, how do, you think, how do you think this is going to affect, uh, you know, P. Diddy's brand? I think the restaurant is amazing. Nice. <laughs> Any reaction to P. Diddy's situation whatsoever, sir? Chip Rihanna is amazing. Okay. <laughs> A lot of people are saying Hollywood's complaint. He ain't trying to talk about that. He's like, hell no, nah, we not even finna get into that Diddy shit. He said with that kind of uh, behavior, more people need to speak out against the uh, injustices. And, you know, it's true. Man, 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 man. Any comment on, on P. Diddy? It is heartbreaking. How often should I wash my jeans? Every day. You guys every take care. Day. Wash my jeans every day. Okay. Y'all, y'all love Tommy Hilfiger. By the way, I have to say you look beautiful tonight. She wasn't finna say shit either. They, they keeping that shit hush hush. They not trying to talk about no damn Diddy. Ain't none of Diddy people speaking up. Uh, they ain't speaking up for him no more. Nobody is speaking up for Diddy no more. All his people is hush hush about all this shit. It's starting to get weird as fuck, man. I'm going to be real with y'all, man. The, the situation is it's starting to... It, it's something going on. Now, look at the day after the raid. Now, look, people just over here looking at their crib. It's, I'm talking about, man, this shit getting spooky as fuck, y'all. Look at this shit, y'all. What the hell they got going on in that damn garage? Look at this shit. his house and obviously the playboy mansion's right there and we know about the tunnels that connect from the playboy mansion to here i'm sure they connect here so the playboy mansion has underground tunnels they're saying that's what the man he's saying he's a psychic medium and he knows all about the underground tunnels over there at the playboy mansion and allegedly the mansions connect from diddy's house to the playboy mansion and there's a whole bunch of underground tunnels over there allegedly Allegedly, 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 allegedly. I don't know, man. They saying there's some tunnels out there, but you. A lot of people. It's not even just about Diddy having tunnels. Did y'all forget that there are thousands of missing children over there in Maui? And Oprah went over there and bought up all that land and all them underground tunnels, and she built un, un, she built underground tunnels over there, and, and, and her and the Rock and all them and Jeff Bezos and. Nobody talked about that. It all got swept under the rug and nobody's talking about Oprah's underground tunnels and shit. Like you see what I'm saying? They they picking and choosing of what they want to expose. They picking and choosing what they want to expose. Why, why wouldn't there are places that connect. So what kind of energy? Up. What kind of energy are you picking it's, up? This like there's just like darkness. I mean, in general, like there's always I've always had weird feelings on this street. Yeah. This type. Well, the play went into down there. And like I said, the Playboy Mansion right down the street from there, right, right down the street. It's a, it's a whole strip of rich ass people over there. So I always thought it was the Playboy Mansion. It wasn't until probably a year ago that I realized this was Diddy's house. 
So he said it wasn't even until a year ago he, re he realized Diddy lived right there. And a lot of people said that, that damn house give them sinister vibes. Allegedly. Allegedly. Allegedly, y'all. What y'all think about that? Let me know in the chat. What do y'all think about that shit, man? It's some weird. I don't know, man. I don't know. But we gonna keep going, though. Diddy house just, I don't know. I bet it got... If them walls could talk, man, if they could tell a whole fucking, it'd be a, a novel written in that motherfucker. It would be a novel written in that motherfucker if them walls could talk. All right, let's get to this next one. Let's get to this next one. Hold on, gang. Hey, peoples, here are your Diddy updates from the last 12 hours. Let's get into it. So I know we all thought Joe Budden was a punk and he wasn't going to say nothing about Diddy, but that's wrong. He made it very clear that if Homeland Security comes to your house, you did something wrong. And the silence from all these elite celebrities, both actors and actresses, is very deafening. Especially since a lot of them were at parties with Diddy in the last couple of weeks. Homeland Security officer reportedly said the raid was based off of concrete allegations collected from victims. When charges come down, we will get him wherever he is. Mm. So, Homeland Security said when, whenever it comes down to we got him. We got his drop. We got his low. We don't, we don't need to arrest him right now. We gonna get him, if need be. <clears throat> so they, I don't know what could they be. What could Homeland Security, the feds? What is everybody waiting on right now? Why haven't they snatched Diddy up yet, y'all? What could be the reason why they haven't snatched Diddy up yet? Let me know in the chat right now. What is the reason that they have not snatched Diddy up yet? So we just upgraded our Comcast, homie. That's all. <laughs> Somebody with a fake P Diddy. As a fake P Diddy, <laughs> hey man, y'all y'all ain't shit. Said Diddy is lucky he has a million because, uh huh, them tunnels lead to that P Island. He got info they don't want him to release. They said better get on his boat. Tapping in from Joey, D salute. It says to keep the ones who are really guilty free. It says someone has receipts. Man, Diddy is finna be in trouble, y'all. Let's get back to this video. Boy, you better be getting all the sun and alcohol you can because you need to be sober for this trial. So thank you to Vicky May because she gave me the new amendment parts that were added to Lil Rod's lawsuit. And baby, Cuba, it's not looking good for you at all, my boy. But if y'all want to get into detail, go to Vicky May. When I say Lil Rod added more evidence, he was not playing. Also in the amendments, you got Brandon Paul in pictures with the pouches that Diddy said all his people had to carry that had all the little pills. Now, like I said, all the evidence is right there. So all the allegations look very true when they got a bunch of receipts in the paperwork. I mean, you can't lie. When you got paperwork, you can't lie about stuff like this. You got a whole bunch of receipts in this paperwork. Allegedly. Let's continue. On this side, it says methods of enterprise. This is how Diddy allegedly got the, you know, pills across state lines, okay? And Lil Rod spared nothing. He left time, date stamps of when they moved and how they moved. And the cliff notes did not disappoint. Now you can pause to read, but this down here basically tells when Young Miami was called on to move weight. <laughs> 50 Cent chimes in on his baby mama being listed as one of the ex-workers. Natina Rubin, the victim of the club, you know, pow pow. Yeah, she's waiting. She wants she wants her day in court and she wants Shine to be vindicated. I Everybody wants justice for they for their loved ones against Diddy. Everybody has been affected. This is a whole surviving Diddy that's coming. There's more people that's about to come out too. Oh, it's just beginning. Diddy, you might as well fasten your seatbelts and get ready. This is gonna be a long, windy ride. It's gonna be rainy as hell, too. Let's get to it, Diddy. I think the cameras that Diddy had hidden in his house were found. Now, on page 39 of the lawsuit, you will see this little excerpt where Mr. Jones describes that Diddy has hidden cameras in all of his house. He has them recording during parties, during events. He gets all the tea on every celebrity that goes through his house. And he uses it for black men, which makes him untouchable. Boy, I'm tired, Diddy. And I know you tired. I know you tired of running. I know you tired of hiding. And why don't you just come on back so they don't have to hunt you down? Just... Just come on back. Come on back and just sit at your house and just wait for them. Matter of fact, just turn yourself in because at this point, it's over, my boy. <sighs> yeah, did he do that? I'm talking about the evidence is just piling sky high against you, man. You can't you can't make this shit up. You can't make this up if you tried, did he? 
Ain't nobody making all this stuff up about you, man. There's got to be some truth somewhere to some of this. Now, 50, I don't know why you trolling so much when your baby mama got these damn allegations coming out about you, too. So let's continue. Let's get back to WAC 100 since he had a lot to say earlier. Let's let's listen to this real quick. WAC. Yo, what up, Ack? There ain't no come for you. No, he was he was actually a fe- no, he was a federal he used to work for HSI. He used to do uh hey, um bro, they finna hit Pumpy with the Kingpin, they lining him up. I see the play. No now. way. They gonna hit him with the, yeah, they finna hit that fool with, with the rape. They gonna hit him with, with drug trafficking and sex trafficking. They lining him up, bro. That white dude is gonna be the key. They been at their eyes on that dude. They gonna get that dude to confirm that yes. And he's saying they finna hit Diddy. They finna say Diddy is the kingpin, and he finna get this kingpin charge. Whack 100. A lot of people say he's the feds as well. Do y'all feel like Whack 100 telling the truth? Are they finna hit Diddy with this kingpin shit? Let me know in the chat. I have given him this. Yes, I've given it to people who fly. They got a motherfucker on the other end confirming Virginia. The call came in. They finna hit that nigga with the kingpin. He don't even see it coming, bro. You think so? Remember, I told you this. They're about to hit his ass. They got, bro, they got trafficking. Man, 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 man. Let me see. They got fucking drug trafficking with his white dude. He's going to line it up. And then they got them in New York, which is, she was under the age of 18. Now, they about the king paying pump, bro. Whack, I'm going to be honest with you. I think this, I think this white dude is third. So they saying... The Brendan Paul is the key to the case. That's why they got him. That's why they went ahead and got him off the streets because with him, the case is solved. As long as you got Brendan Paul, the case he's gonna break because you gotta think, man, this dude is. Oh, they they saying he's a mule and he just got caught with drugs on a damn airplane. He out of there. He gonna have to make a sweet deal as soon as he landed. He probably. I mean, as soon as they got him, he probably started talking. Man, I got everything. I got all the receipts in my phone. Whatever you need, man, it's in my phone. I'm telling you. He told me. To, I'm telling you he had me carry you. they like, just sit tight. Just sit tight. We got you. Don't even worry about it. Just sit tight. You're going to have to sit here, though. But, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we got him, though. We're going to go through all your shit. They said that they need to kingpin Trump. Hold on. They said, hold on now. They said, praise God almighty. They said, the game is over. All around the world. Let's get back to it. I think he's gonna hold it down. He's not telling, he's not flipping. You crazy in a motherfucker. Not flipping. No way. Nigga, that white boy is finna tail. Let me tell you something. Fuck Puffy. Before they came and got get him, they already flipped two, three other people. Mm. That's that's facts. They didn't already this case, the only reason they haven't gotten Diddy is probably because they don't want to yet. They like, man, we got we got the drop on him. We just came for them damn recordings so we can. We we want him to be aware we on his ass, but we just need them recordings. That's the first thing we do. We don't need him yet. We need them recordings. Mm. They didn't flip two, three other people already, right before they came and got him. You notice they got him right at the motherfucking plane. They could have really been fucked up letting him get on that plane. You see he had the dope in the bag at the plane. By the way, I don't I don't think people peep. There was there was there was a couple nice looking females with him which I, I i see the play you man 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 give you give you give your girl your salute la la for being a member for 11 months i appreciate you la la drop them uh drop them uh flowers for la la y'all salute to grumpy i appreciate you diddy diddy 50 finna get caught up too whack need to sit down Compton, Bumpton, why y'all? It's a 60. So, so, salute, uh, Grumpy. I appreciate you for that 10 piece. Real plain, and then you get the rental and go with your other girls. So, look like you, you might have been trying to. So, right there, as you see, Diddy finna get hit with that Rico. But I've been telling y'all since this, uh, since the Cassie paperwork dropped. I told y'all when I first saw that paperwork, there was no way in hell. And I meant it. There was no way Diddy could avoid a Rico. Not not judging off what we was looking at with that uh paperwork off of off of Cassie paperwork. If we just going off just Cassie's, it, it clearly showed that Cassie was a uh, you know, what I'm saying trafficked across state lines and she was going here and there, whoop de whoop de whoop. It clearly showed that they had an enterprise going on. So I was like, man, I didn't understand why the feds didn't come sooner. 
I was still wondering, like, what the hell? Is, why, why are the feds taking so long? Well, obviously, they've been knowing they've been knowing about some uh, other lawsuits coming up. So let's just keep it a buck, man. Uh, let's let's get back to this Cuba Gooden Jr. shit. Hold on, salute to. Let me see who that is, uh, real quick. Who was that that just sent me a salute to third is popping for that two piece salute? Y'all, it looks like little Rodney's up around two, and you know what? I do not blame him at all. What is going on is really messed up. So, little Rodney is accusing Diddy of intimidation, and he's filing an essay suit against Cuba Gooding Jr. So, let's tackle Diddy first. According to the amendment of the lawsuit, Diddy hired help to go over to little Rodney's baby mama house to intimidate her and their eight year old daughter. Are you kidding me? Not to add insult to injury, but the same goons that went to his baby mama house went to his ex's house as well. What were you thinking? And Lil Rodney also claims that Diddy has been trying to back channel to contact him. Like I told y'all, this but Diddy has just been loose. Diddy just won't stop. It's like something just wants to be criminal. So it, is Diddy just trying to get himself locked up before they knock his ass off or what? Allegedly. I don't know, because it seeming like Diddy just knows something about to happen. When y'all know y'all not supposed to be talking in the first day and gonna play. Now, Cuba, you know you didn't stepped in it real hard. And I quote, Cuba Gooding Jr., began touching, groping, and fondling Mr. Jones' legs, upper thighs, near the groin, the small of the back, the buttocks, and the shoulders. Man, you was trying to get him ready, weren't you? So Cuba was definitely prepping that man. Salute the real Noya D. I appreciate you for that 20 piece. That's your third super on the live stream. Salute, salute, salute. Well, Lorraine said, because you want to push me that way, little boy? I'm putting you in the essay lawsuit too. And it's not like Lil Ronnie doesn't have evidence. In the lawsuit, he has screenshots from a video of Cuba Gooding Jr. approaching him on that boat, messing with him on that boat. So he should have been in this lawsuit. Now I have no idea who Diddy thought he was trying to intimidate a child and a woman. Who you are? Are you think you El Chapo? But you about to get hit even harder. And Cuba, you just got out some stuff, my boy. You just can't stay out of court. But I want to see how this ends up. Yeah, man, Cuba, you out of there, dog. Cuba, you gonna you gonna get your ass lined up right with Diddy Goofy ass. You and Diddy Goofy ass finna both get lined up. It's like they just want to be in trouble so bad. It's like y'all just want to break the law so bad for some odd reason, and I don't get it. It's like it's it's it's, it's like these motherfuckers just want to break the law so bad. Well, as long as you breaking the law, we gonna cover this shit to get your ass locked up. I can't wait till they lock Diddy ass up. I'm going to be real. I, and I, I've been seeing a lot of people. I'm going to be real. I've been seeing a lot of people and men, mostly men, who like, oh, man, you got to prove that. You got to prove You got to prove all that, man. You got. And I'm starting to be like, man, you know what I'm saying? What the, what a lot of dudes got going on, man, because how y'all taking up for this dude at a time like this? You know what I'm saying? It's like at, at this point in time, it's like you kind of can't take up for Diddy, dog. I especially if you've been reading all the damn paperwork if you've been reading the paperwork that's been dropping in this case there's no way as a man you're gonna look at this and be like nah man did he innocent dog and it's starting to show me a lot about a uh, salute a uh, grumpy on that five piece i appreciate you salute salute it's starting to show me a lot about you know what i'm saying what these dudes may or may not have going on i'm like i don't know dog i don't really know if you know what i'm saying Standing with Diddy right now is the best idea. I, I don't see that being the best idea, standing with Diddy right now. Let's continue. It's being linked to a sex trafficking investigation. He got some shots of a few people coming out of the home. Those people have been detained. Now, we're trying to still connect the dots. We do have some sources on scene here that we're getting this information from. We were actually the first ones here with about 30 different law enforcement vehicles at least. There are three Bearcats on scene here. Make sure y'all get the likes up. Smash that like button. Let's go. This just all unfolded, Sandra, I would say less than 10 minutes ago. We got here even before the crime scene tape came up. So uh, we're just down the hill. If you look up the street where Tony is right now to the right, you'll see one of those Bearcats and law enforcement. On the other side of those bushes, basically, is that home that is registered to Bad Boy Films. Y'all, it's looking like Diddy is finally getting thrown into jail after his house was raided by police and his sons, Justin and Christian Combs, were arrested. But before police could even get their hands on Diddy himself, that man pulled a Russell Simmons and jetted off to a third world country, according to his flight data. Allegedly. And, and like I said, no one has seen Diddy since. This is just what, you know what I'm saying, came out as soon as the shit happened. Salute to uh, Tasha uh, Tasha Owens for that 10-piece. I appreciate you. Salute, salute, salute. 
Now, no one has seen Diddy. And like I said, the technology these days, oh my bad, let me get to this next video. The technology these days kind of, it's kind of, it's the technology scares the fuck out of me. I'm going to be real with you. And I'm going to tell you why. Because you just don't know what the hell you really looking at. Like, you don't know if this is Diddy, if that's Diddy. Because even with him pacing at the airport, you still looking like, fam, I don't know, dog. The, the, the shit look grainy. I ain't sure if that's him. You don't never know what the hell is going on because Hollywood then tricked us. I, I, I told y'all when AI first dropped, it, 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 the shit scared the hell out of me because they no longer needed you. They didn't have use for anybody anymore. They don't got use for celebrities no more. They don't got use for nobody no more. They can monetize and make money off you as long as they got your voice. Let's go. As long as they got you, they got you. The private jet took off from the U.S. to a secret island just minutes after police raided his home to arrest him for trafficking. And just when we thought this story couldn't get any worse, Candace Owens stepped into the chat and spilled some major tea about the real reason that Diddy's home was raided by police in the first place. And y'all cannot imagine the things she had to say. She sent the internet into a frenzy with her revelation because we all know Candace never tells a lie and she always come through with receipts. So y'all believe in Candace Owens? Are y'all standing with Candace Owens right now? Salute to Cookie Latia, Lata, Cookie Lata Stokes. I appreciate it. I don't know, I may have got the Cookie Lata. I think that is Cookie Lata. Salute to Cookie Lata. I appreciate you. Do y'all feel like Candace Owens is dropping gems or is she capping? Is Candace Owens dropping gems or is she capping? To back up what she has to say. For an by a former partner, that settle uh, that lawsuit was then settled very quickly. But in December, he faced allegations in a complaint drop the gems or the caps let me know how y'all feel about candace owens filed in the southern district of new york the suit was brought by a woman breaking news the department of homeland security has just confirmed to cnn that federal law enforcement agents have raided properties owned by musician and producer sean diddy combs okay so it looks like all the allegations and lawsuits all right let's get back to it we're gonna continue give me one second let's get to the next video salute to who is that? Salute to Zarenia White for that two-piece and Grumpy for that five-piece. I appreciate both of y'all. Salute, salute, salute. We're going to keep this going. Let's get to this next video. Hold on one second, gang. I keep getting to this damn Joe Budden shit. My bad. All right, my bad. Let's get to this next video. All right. My bad, y'all. No players fuck up. All right, salute. on Diddy these past couple of months are really going to lead to his arrest because the police are now involved and word on the street is he's involved in a very high profile RICO investigation for his involvement in SEX trafficking and the mistreatment of younger girls. Now, if you've been on social media these past couple of months, then you've probably heard a little bit about all this because of all of the countless allegations and lawsuits that have been rolling in against Diddy. But most of us really didn't realize just how deep this whole thing got until the police raided his house in Miami and arrested his two sons, Justin and Christian. And the pictures leaked from Get the likes up, y'all. Smash that like button. The raid, you can see Justin and Christian in handcuffs while being dragged around by the police like a bunch of criminals. According to reports, the raid was done in connection to federal SEX trafficking investigations. The raid was done by Homeland Security, with police officers seen coming out of Diddy's house with boxes and bags of evidence, including electronics. The police also... And that's what that, and that's what it was all about. It was all about them damn electronics. Like I said, they went in there with the intent of getting everything that you can record on, whether that be audio or video. They went in there with a game plan. They already knew what they wanted. They wanted recording devices. They was trying to go go get some more. Ev they they was trying to go get some more evidence on Diddy. That's what they wanted. They was in that bitch trying to get some more evidence on him. Like, hold on, man. We we got to go back up some of these claims that we got going at, going in the court. Now, let's get to Uncle Luke. He didn't came out and talk today. Let's get to Uncle Luke. What, what Uncle Luke talking about, man? Hold on, gang. Let's get to this. And you see them put you up on a pedestal. That's, that's because they put you up on a pedestal. They made you the guy. They placed you on every network. They sold you to all y'all on here. They gave you 5 million followers. They put all this. They dress you up like a fucking hoe on the street. 
They gave you the Bugattis. They gave you the mansions on two different coasts. They put you up on a pedestal because they need you. It's like some pimp. Man, Uncle Uncle Luke talking, y'all. Say Uncle Luke on Diddy, don't bite the hand that feeds you. And I told y'all the hand that was feeding him for a long time was Clive Davis and company. It ain't just Clive. Diddy made a lot of high profile people mad. A lot of people that he used to dance for and do whatever for. It's a lot of people Diddy used to sit down and do a lot of favors for, whether that be some actual or some dirt. It, it, it didn't matter. If Diddy needed to go get dirt on somebody or Diddy needed to please somebody, it didn't matter. Diddy used to get down. So stay woke. Shit. When you got, when you, when you got your main girl, you dress her up and she look like this and look like that and do this and you march her into the, to the big room. I'm telling you. That was Diddy. That was Diddy on the casting couch. They took Diddy and, you know what I'm saying, paraded him around and had Diddy dancing and, you know what I'm saying, whatever, whatever. Meanwhile, you, no one understood what Diddy was doing, but they, they was the puppets. They was the puppet man. I mean, excuse me, they were the puppet masters controlling their puppet. The masters were controlling their puppet. So when they put you on that motherfucking pedestal, and then you start thinking it's about you, and you want to take over their shit. We miss you too, Bernice. Salute to you, Bernice. The people look bad like I appreciate that five piece. Because hold on, who the fuck do you think he is? Oh, we'll show you better than we can tell you. Then they'll try to reason with you, and they'll talk to your manager, because your manager looked like them. The manager is always working with them, trust me. And they'll be like, hey, man, tell, tell your man to chill out, you know, and then the manager. See, they go to your management first because they, they know the manager's got control of you. If you got a real manager, they got control over their artist. So they go to the manager and try to tell the manager, hey, you might want to tell Buddy to chill before shit gets shit get real thick. The manager can choose to uh, ignore that shit. You know, I'm throwing shots at somebody, but let's 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 just continue with this. He come in and he trying to keep his job. Hey, hey guy, be uh, calm down. Yeah, my cash app is dollar sign ratchet TV. Drop it in the chat, uh, mods. And then you go walk around like it's all about you. You got all the the cars and the mansions and the jets and all the yachts and all this and all the people running around. You talking about yeah, yeah, yeah. And now you want to fight. Now you want to bite the hand that feeds you now did he want to bite the hand that feeds him gang is uncle luke dropping gems or is he up here capping y'all drop the gems of the cap how y'all feeling about uncle luke don't your mama ever always tell you that your mama say never bite the hand that feeds you and so this is how the major corporations work when you try to come after them now you put a lawsuit in Bam! Lawsuit. Fuck that shit. I'm suing their ass. I'm take their company down. Fuck that shit. They taking my brand and my name and likeness and they making millions of dollars. I want out of this contract. And now, mind you, these people on the stock market, they stock go down 5%. So he, he over here getting deep into some gems. Now, I asked y'all a, a question in the chat. I said... Uh, will Diddy go to prison? I want everybody in this room to vote on that poll in the chat. Will Diddy go to prison? Yes, he's done, or nope, he good. Let me know in the chat. How y'all feeling? Let's go. That just cost them some billions. So they're looking at this motherfucker to the, to the shareholders. This motherfucker is affecting our stock. They're going to hold on. You just fucked up some billions of dollars. These are major corporations that are on the stock market that you can affect their stock what i just tell y'all what did he deal with that diego deal he wrote if you go look at the what, what diego was making with diddy and now what's going on man them dudes finna have to go ahead and sell their company or something did he ruin them and i'm telling y'all this has a lot to do with that diego deal you got to stop y'all got to stop pretending like that deal didn't mess up everything for Diddy. It wasn't until he messed with that deal to when they started coming for him. Because think about this. The whole industry been new Diddy got down like this. Why are we pretending like this is shocking news? Ain't nobody surprised Diddy had none of these. Ain't no, there's no man or woman 
shocked that Diddy got some zesty rumors going out or Diddy like some freaky shit or Diddy was taking that or we ain't shocked about none of this. We've been seeing Diddy has some weird behavior. Everybody in the industry know. Salute to Latoya for that 20 piece on Cash App. Salute, salute, salute. I appreciate you. Let's get back to this. And cost them in one in one day billions of dollars by having their stock drop because your sneakers, you telling people you don't want them selling your sneakers. Or you don't want them so you they stealing money from you ain't paying you off the liquor. Them people are like hold the fuck on. Okay, get the lawsuit. Now when you get the lawsuit, you gotta go to the, the judge, state judge. They definitely own the state judge because they're gonna buy the, the number one law firm who put the most money into the state judge. Man, 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 this, he up here talking too much. Is, is Luke talking too much, y'all? Into the, into the local judge campaign to make him the local judge. It's big bank take little bank. It goes back to CeeLo. The federal judge, they're going to then find out who, who, what senator and congressman that called the president to say, I need an appointment for my federal judge because how do you get an appointment for a federal judge is because I'm a major donor and hey man I got a friend of mine that's a judge man on the circuit level uh man I would love for him to be a a federal judge and I'm gonna max out in your campaign matter of fact I'm gonna generate a man that's a, that's really how it be going if if you know you know if you in the know you already know this is just how it goes. This is just how it goes. A couple hundred thousands or a million dollars to put in your campaign. You were in the seat. You didn't call up the president. President didn't say, hey, look here, man. Nominate this motherfucker right here. So now you got a fucking judge in here. You got the state judge. So then now you, Nick, you black man who don't own these people company, you want to talk all your cash money shit. And you want to go after these people, what ends up happening? They start the smear campaign because they own, they down with the media. They got to smear you before you go into the courtroom of your peers. And that's facts. That's facts, though. A lot of people go under their smear campaigns. And it's just, a, it's kind of what you would say, part of the game. This The smear campaigns uh i've been through smear campaign salute f johnson on that 10 piece i appreciate you but the smear campaign can't smear your name if it ain't true that's the part you gotta you gotta think about diddy you got a lot of shit going on it's starting to look like a lot of this stuff that they've been saying about you has been true diddy it's, it's looking like a lot of this stuff they've been saying about you is true diddy i'm just gonna be real with you because everything that you did that, that's been in the dark is starting to come to the light with you diddy it's starting to it's starting to go to the light, man. Let's go. They go, okay, you we can't settle with this dude. We can't we'll have no voice of reason. He wanna act crazy. Now we're gonna go after you. Now we're gonna call up our same senator. Hey man, I need you, man, go issue a search warrant, man. I need you to drag this motherfucker. In the hood, that's what we call. I want you to drag his ass. I want you to have all kind of allegations. So by the time he come in this courtroom. He going to wish he ain't know. We're going to take every fucking dime you got. And that's facts. That's facts. Because we made you. You didn't make us, God damn it. You fuck with my stock. You fuck with my money. You fuck with me. I'm going to fuck with you. I'm going to break your ass down to the lowest term. That's how this shit go, boss. So when you fuck with them people that put that bread in your pocket that made you, they're going to take, they're going to take you down to the lowest terms. Sound like the movie Scarface. Bingo. That's how they do. So you go, they just smear your name. By the time you get in the courtroom, you lost already because you're sitting up there with a jury looking at you like you're a fucking pedophile. And you probably ain't never touched a little girl in your life. And you're trying to sue this major corporation, this major respectable corporation. And they're going to say how many people they employ, how many people and half the people on the jury drink their shit. I have. 
You see, he he being real subliminal and he talking about Diego because he know and he in the industry. So he know this Diego deal messed everything up for Diddy. The people on the jury, children walking around with their paraphernalia on. You get ready. You get ready to sue them. And they'd have made you out through the media. They'd have made you a crazy man. And they'd have made you a goddamn pedophile. They'd have made you everything that you're not. He's saying through the media. So he's saying the media is controlling the narrative in this Diddy case, and they've already made him out to be whatever, so it don't even matter no more. This is Diego's doing. You tried to tarnish our brand? Okay, so we're going to tarnish yours. You ruin us, we ruin you. Eye for an eye. That's what it is right now. Diego made sure they finished the job. They made sure they came They, they came through bussing. That's when they spent the block, you felt that shit. He, that, that was one of them go pick your mans up. I'm giving y'all some good shit today. Never bite the hand that feeds you. So now when you walk up in that room and you take and you make the uh, and you make the deal, you cut the deal with the devil. And then you got one motherfucker, he wanna talk about everybody else who's still in the room. You know, you know, you know that why I be sitting there looking at that shit. I'm like, he telling on everybody. You know, because you in the room, you know this motherfucker run this motherfucker, that motherfucker run that motherfucker. That, you know. Man, man, man. Now you really went rogue. <sighs> man, man. Like I said, bro, this Diddy case, I don't even know what to say no more. It, it's just getting, it's getting, it's getting crazy, y'all. I, I don't know what y'all think about Luke coming out. He, he had to... He had to speak his truth. He like, hold on, man. Let let me say something. Let me say something in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Let, let, let's let's hold on. We're not done. Luke said he's not done. Let's get back to this. Luke said he's not done, gang. Hold on. You don't think there'll be money for the country, yo? That's why I ain't never went in the room. They say, Luke, come on in the room. Luke came. That's why. Luke, you want to come in the room with us? He said they used to offer him. Can you want to come in here with us? No. I take my little chips. I'm good. He said, "Hell no!" They got music playing in the background, so I'm about to keep muting this, y'all. Cause I know once you go in, once you go in that door, it ain't no coming back no more. Once you go in that door, it ain't no coming back no more. So I take my little chips. You know, I look at man. I sleep in one bed. I have my nice vehicles, and you know, I'm good. My son is good, and I don't need that smoke. The hell nah, he didn't want he didn't want to get more famous than that. He said, I already knew what time it was. They already drugged me one time. They drugged him one time. So when you go up in the rooms now, you better know where you're going at. You hear him? He said that he he they drugged him one time. What what the what the fuck is Luke talking about, y'all? You see these multi-millionaires, them people make you, they feel like they own you. You go run out there, these fools go run out there and try to fight these people. Man, man, man. You can't fight these people. They own the president. He said you cannot fight these people. They own the president. And I got to keep muting it because that music playing in the background, y'all. They control the media. Hey, look, you on the front row at the Oscars. You on the front row at the Emmys. They promote you. They they put you on this pedestal and feed you to the people. They give you 50 million followers on social media. They give you that. They put you. They put you on that platform. They make you. They can, and if this is show, they can make you. They can erase you. When you get out of hand, when you get out of hand, they gonna spank that ass. I'm giving y'all some good stuff. This is not. You can't get out of control now. You get back beside yourself. You know, like Mama said, don't get beside yourself. Come on, put that little switch on you, boy. <laughs> you can't get beside yourself with the So you can't get beside yourself. Not in this game. Not whenever they own you. Not when they own you. You can't get away with none of this shit when they own you. Now, who told these slaves that they could own their masters? Man, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Who told these slaves that they could own their masters? And they be thinking it's sweet and you can get away with this and whoop de whoop de whoop Let's get to this, man. Hold on. Let's get back to this. Let's get back to this. What do we got here? What do we got here? Hold on, gang. Shit, it ain't even what you think. You fuck around, wake up tomorrow, shit, ass nigga with a footy on. <laughs> and don't know what the fuck you just done did. I, I mean, real shit. Your motherfucker meat pistol fucked up and your ass hurt. You don't know what the fuck is saying. 
You hear this is a music exec to explain how Diddy re uh, records artists in compromising positions, allegedly. You don't know who to tell, but this is what the game is going to. That's what it's going to. Then, here it is, the time for a contract to come out. Nigga want to sign you for five years, you like, nah, dog. So you don't want to sign with us. Nah. That's no, nah. They pop in the tape. Show this nigga what he did last night. Allegedly, y'all. Allegedly. <laughs> I'm serious. Dude, this real shit I'm telling y'all though. Pop in the tape. You sitting that motherfucker like, man, what the fuck? Yeah, well, what the fuck? That's what happened. You got fucked. What you gonna do? You gonna sign that contract? You don't want nobody in the hood to see that shit? Man, and that's allegedly how, you know what I'm saying? Not only just Diddy, that's how the industry is as a whole. It's been like that, though. You don't want this shit to get out, dog. I'm telling y'all. Somebody said, pop in the tape. Hey, you, oh, you think it, okay, pop in the tape. No, 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 uh, no, 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 we ain't got to argue. Pop in the tape. No, be quiet. Sit, the, sit down. Pop in the fucking tape. And this is what I'm going to tell y'all like this. These niggas that you see constantly hot. They're not getting high because they like to get high. They're getting high because they know what they done done. And they can't live with that shit for real. So, I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all this for me. This is some real sh shit. Allegedly, y'all. There's some, there's, some, there's some shit going on in this industry, y'all. There is some shit going on in this industry. And I don't know what, what it is, but it's loose. I don't know what it is, but it's loose. And alleged, and it, it, it is Diddy got his hands all over it. I'm talking about Diddy got his hands all over the damn industry at this point. Damn, Diddy, you, Diddy, you didn't fucked up tremendously this time, dog. I'm gonna be honest with you, Diddy. I, I don't, I don't see a way out of this for you, man. Don't, and, and the fact that they got Paul, the fact, the fact that they got Paul, that's that's the that's the telling story. What did you know? Say so they got him with them drugs, and they got him in that paperwork. With all them pictures, with all them pictures, let's continue, y'all. Let's continue. Hold on. Let's let's get to this next story. Hold on. Let's get to this next story, y'all. What if I told you that P Diddy is just a pawn in a greater scheme? And stay with me through the course of this video because I'm about to open everybody's eyes to a lot of shit. In my last video, I mentioned somebody by the name of Sir Lucian Grange, somebody that's been rumored to sponsor these specific parties as to where these allegations are originating from. But what if I told you it goes way beyond this man in Universal Music Group? And when I say way beyond, I mean... Hold on, thugs. Let's just stay focused real quick. This story goes deep. I'm telling you, this Diddy case, it goes deeper than you may think. Let's continue, though. Sir Lucian, I kept telling y'all about Lucian last time. I kept saying, man, that name being in that paperwork, that's a heavy hit. That's a heavy name in the industry. That name right there holds a lot of weight. That's a dangerous dude. Salute to Grumpy. I appreciate you for that two-piece. Way beyond. His name is Leor Cohen. He's the head of music and YouTube and former CEO of Warner Music Group, okay? Leor Cohen, y'all. Now, Leor Cohen, that's another dangerous dude. Think Clive Davis and these boys bad. Man, the, the UMG and, the, uh, and Lucian and, man, I right, man, y'all saying some... These names being tied up to this. Now, not only has Diddy ruined Diego, Diddy can also bring these powerhouses down. This is a lot. This is heavy, y'all. You know, the guy from a couple years ago that was accused of creating gangster rap to fill private prisons by glamorizing criminality? John Holmston, a retired CIA agent a couple years ago, admitted that the CIA was behind the creation of gangster rap in the late 80s and 90s in order to glamorize criminal behavior and fill private prisons. Something that not only Tupac spoke about back in the 90s, but also Kanye in modern day. Do keep in mind, before I go any further, this is for entertainment purposes only, yo. Yeah, this is only for entertainment purposes. We just over here saying a whole bunch of alleged shit. We just saying a whole bunch of stuff that's alleged. Allegedly. Okay. But the former CIA agent said that the CIA worked in tandem with music industry elite to create a funnel in which young people would be indoctrinated with brainwashing gangster rap music, introduced to a life of crime, and then delivered to the highly profitable private prison system. And this just coincidentally took off right after Jay-Z was released from prison back in the 90s. 
Not saying those two things add up in any way, but boy, is that ironic. He also said that some of the biggest names in the music industry are in cahoots with private prison owners and stating that back in 2021, Core Civic, formerly known as Corrections Corporation of America, the biggest name in the private prisons industry, contacted 48 states offering to buy their prisons. And supposedly there was one requirement of eligibility for the deal that was particularly strange. An assurance by the agency partner that the agency has sufficient inmate population to maintain a 90% occupancy rate over the term of the contract. Okay, so let's stop. I don't want to I don't want to overwhelm y'all. Let's stop right there. Are y'all following along with what the hell I'm how I'm showing y'all how deep this is and how you know this is big. Something big is about to happen and it is this Diddy case is small compared to what the fuck is at stake. This is this is huge, y'all. Supposedly back in the year 2012, a mere 232 media executives in the US were responsible for controlling all revenues necessary to manufacture for any celebrity and spark any trend. Time Warner, as the owner of Warner Brothers Records, can not only sign an artist, but since they are also the owners of Entertainment Weekly, they can also put an artist on the cover of magazines by next week. Here's the kicker: BET and MTV are owned by Viacom, right? But here's the thing, when ownership of these mass media conglomerates is cross-checked with the biggest names of private prison ownership, things start to get really fishy and Hold on. Not BET and MTV are behind the private prison, prisons and shit. Too. What, what, what? Whoa, what? Sketchy. The largest owner of Core Civic, formerly Corrections Corporations of America, is Vanguard Group Incorporated. Wait, 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 wait. Salute Tyra Rowe on that 10 piece McNugget. I appreciate you. Salute, salute, salute. This is deep, y'all. Drop them gems. Y'all better be getting them likes up. Vanguard is the number one largest holder in both Viacom and Time Warner. Vanguard is also the largest holder in the GEO group, the second largest owner of private prisons in the entire USA. Vanguard! Vanguard! Gotta hope I don't get targeted by the CIA or some shit for this fucking video. But you gotta bring awareness! And you know how I told you about Leor Cohen, right? You know, the former CEO of Warner Music Group, the head of music and YouTube? Well, check this photo out. Oh, that's pretty interesting, isn't it? And a music industry executive who was present at the first meeting between the CIA, private prison, and the music industry executives has written a confessional letter detailing. Salute to Linda Martinez for that five piece McNugget. I appreciate you. Salute, salute, salute. Telling exactly what went down on that fateful day. The video has since been deleted. Lear Cohen also joined Google at the end of 2016, having previously acted as the CEO of 300 Entertainment People. Prior to taking his position at YouTube, though, Cohen worked on the label side of the music industry at companies including Warner Music, like I spoke about, Def Jam people, Island Def Jam, and 300 Entertainment that I just spoke about. And in his early career, he also gained artist management experience at Def Jam sister company. And that's crazy because 300 Entertainment, that's how I, and I figured out about 300 when I started doing the YouTube thing because Trap Boy Freddy and whoever was behind him that's a whole we're gonna get to that story. That's that's I told y'all about that, but it's just some shit just connected in my head real quick. But we're gonna continue. Company Rush Management. Lyra Cohen started his career in the music industry, supposedly as a manager at the Russell Simmons. Russell Simmons founded Rush Management. During his first day with the company, he was famously selected to replace Run DMC's missing tour manager. He continued working as a road manager for Run DMC and the Beastie Boys from 1984 to 1987. Cohen stayed with Rush as a manager until 1994, running the company's day-to-day -day operations and advising such acts as Run DMC, LL fucking Cool J, and Public Enemy. Cohen personally signed artists including A Tribe Called Quest, De La Soul, EPMD, Eric B, Rakeem, and Slick Rick. And while still working at Rush Management in 1988, Cohen began his move to the label side of the music business by joining Simmons at Def Jam. He shortly became partners with Simmons, negotiating label separation from his distributor. Sony, in 1994, the pair negotiated a new distribution deal with Polygram, which was eventually acquired by Universal. Boy, it really makes you wonder what happened to Tupac, right? Man, this is deep, y'all. I don't know. This is deep. That man was taking absolutely nobody's shit. But in 1998 and 1999, after the events of which we all know that happened, Cohen brokered the deal to sell Def Jam to Universal, creating the Island Def Jam Music Group, which combined Def Jam, Mercury, and Island Records. And as official president of Island Def Jam then, Cohen was responsible for labels including Rockefeller, Rockefeller People, American Records, and Roadrunner Records. Oh, this shit gets deep. Artists under his watch at Island Def Jam included Jay-Z, Bon Jovi, Ludacris, Mariah Carey, and a whole bunch more. And in 2004, Cohen just so happened to be recruited by Warner Music Group and became the CEO and president of recorded music at WMG. 
Man, bro, that's a powerful, powerful dude. Very powerful. He would eventually become chairman of WMG, thus being responsible for all worldwide recording music, including but not limited to Atlantic Records Group, newly founded after the merger of Atlantic Records and Electra Records and Warner Bros. Records. He was also in charge of marketing, sales, distribution, catalog marketing, and the digital music business. Cohen is also credited with preparing the label for the music consumption changes due to streaming. And he signed an unprecedented deal with YouTube in 2006 that allowed the site to show videos from Warner's talent roster in exchange for a share of YouTube's revenue. And huh, TikTok wasn't providing any revenue, huh? Kind of makes sense as to why they parted ways, huh? But he left WNG in 2012, co-founding 300 Entertainment with his former Warner Bros. Music and Def Jam colleague Kevin Lyles. 300 Entertainment has found success with their past and current sightings, including Migos, Megan Thee Stallion, and YSL Records with Young Thug, Gunna, etc. And he remained in the active role with the company until the end of 2016. It was at the end of 2016 when Lear Cohen was announced as YouTube's global head of music, thus putting Sir Lucian Grange in charge of Universal Music. So God, that ladder really goes up pretty high, doesn't it? But yeah, let's just put all the blame on Diddy, right? There is always a pawn in a bigger chess game, okay? And this chess game evidently should have been folded up back in the 80s. But I guess everybody just loves money, don't they? All I'm going to say after presenting all this is that this goes way above my safety pay grade. But just know, if you thought you had it figured out, you definitely did not have it figured out. I mean, this shit runs deep. It runs deep. Man, 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 man. I don't know, y'all. Diddy is in dangerous territory. That's all I can say is Diddy is in very dangerous territory. Salute Grumpy on that five-piece McNugget. It's Island Records, huh? Why all the music videos were on those islands at the time? Just saying weird, huh? Yeah, this is this is very deep. That's all I can say about this, man. This rabbit hole goes deep, and it's a dangerous rabbit hole that I don't know if you want to go down. You might just want to say, yeah, 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 just blame Diddy. Just blame Diddy. It's all good. Just say Diddy did it and leave it at that. Just say Diddy did it and leave it at that. Now here we go with some weird stuff about this Ava girl that a lot of people don't talk about. Let's get to this. Hold on. A lot of people don't talk about this Ava girl. Look at the side by side, y'all. This is Ava 2020 with Diddy. This is the missing Ava in an age progression. Salute, Justin Lawrence. I appreciate you. Salute, salute, salute. Tell me there's not similarities here. As we all know, Diddy got his ass rated yesterday, and I've been down a rabbit hole. Ava 2020 with Diddy. This is the missing Ava in an age progression. Tell me there's not similarities here. As we all know, Diddy got his ass rated yesterday, and I've been down a rabbit hole ever since. Kelvin said, Kevin Jones says, Big Ratchet, you know the real deal. I know what, you know, I can't talk too much up here. I got to, you know what I'm saying? I got to whoop de whoop, man. I, I can throw out the little clues. You just got to pick them up. But yeah, if you know, you know. Who remembers this life from Diddy? Y'all are going to want to hang in there for this. I want you to tell them the story about how I adopted you. But you still have beautiful parents that but you're my child also. Good. And that was a that was a little Ava girl and it got weird. They got music playing in the background, but y'all remember that though. All allegedly. Matter of fact, okay. Y'all, this is all allegedly. And decided to pick me up and said to come inside and play with his kids. Yeah. <laughs> y'all, this is all allegedly, okay? All allegedly. Matter of fact, there was this whole thing last year where everyone thought that Ava Baldwin and her mom were Bebop and BB. Does that ring a bell? But let me show you something. A little girl named Ava Grace Baldwin. She was six years old when she was reported missing from her elementary school. She hadn't shown up in nearly three weeks when the school contacted her dad. Police believe that her mother took her. And for the last eight years, her dad has been on a quest to find her. What in the hell is going on, gang? What do y'all think about that? The Ava that's in Diddy's video from 2020 looks to be about 11 or 12 at that time, which would make her in 2024 about 15. Ava, bald one that's missing, was born in 2009, which would make her 15 this year. Like, I want y'all to... Man, I, that, that blew my mind. I'm like, wait, what the fuck? Wait, what the math maths? That's the thing. The math is definitely mathing right now, man. The math, math. So like, I can't lie about that. It's looking like it looks like her. It, the storyline, and then the, the, the weird things that there's. That I don't know, fam. I I don't know. That's, that shit scares me, man. Like stuff like that scares the hell out of me. So I don't know, man. There's some sick stuff going on, and Diddy know a lot. 
It's some sick stuff going on, and Diddy knows a lot of secrets right now. Salute Kevin Jones and said, a two-piece is a, is a motherfucker. I'm a boxer. Salute. I appreciate that other two-piece. Salute, salute, salute. All right, let's get back to this, man. Let's get back to this. This story took a weird turn. I know it took a weird-ass turn. I told y'all we was going to be in for one tonight. I told y'all. Salute to uh Gerald for that uh, five-piece. I appreciate you. You all remember when we said Diddy is fighting tooth and nail to make sure he doesn't go down alone? Well, it looks like his plans are finally succeeding because he just brought undeniable evidence of how Jay-Z allegedly unalived his mistress, Kathy White, to protect Beyonce. Allegedly, Kathy White got pregnant for Jay-Z and was threatening to do a tell-all interview about the affair around the same time Beyonce also announced that she was pregnant. And thinking of the absolute chaos Kathy's tell-all would be, Jay-Z made the obvious choice and decided to delete his so do y'all we talk about this story too and i always bring this story up because this one is going to be the kim porter one it's not going to go away this is a story that haunts jay-z and beyonce and diddy knows all about it mistress sources are now saying diddy has strong evidence that can prove everything that went down so jay's days as a free man might be counted y'all better get comfy because we are about to break this down so there has been a lot of noise about how diddy is planning to expose all his partners in crime from back in the day now that the lawsuits are getting more serious and every day feels like one day closer to jail time the latest update on diddy supposedly ratting out everyone he has a history with is that he is exposing jay-z for unaliving his mistress kathy white to protect beyonce if the name kathy white does not sound familiar to you it's because someone somewhere did a very good job of scrubbing her off the internet and streets are saying and if you you can't look up nothing on this case no more like this it's like this would doesn't even exist when you go do your research on this story, it's like it doesn't even exist. And that's the weird part about it. Saying that person is Jay-Z. For those of y'all that don't know who Kathy is, well, Kathy White, also known as Corey or Coriana, was a model and fitness expert who also ran her own PR firm, White Label PR. She used to hang around many celebrities and she was actually close with a number of them, like Claudia Jordan and Jason Lee. In fact, Claudia Jordan, who has been described as a known home wrecker, used to join Kathy White in dating married men. Salute grumpy on that uh, five piece. And by that, I mean stinking rich married men. Kathy herself the two piece, my is known to have admitted that she's here for a good time, not a long time. Unless a man has a net worth of at least 50 million, she won't pay him any attention. So you can see how Jay-Z must have been the perfect match for her, even though they supposedly started dating long before he and Beyonce tied the knot. Rumors about the alleged affair between Jay-Z and Kathy sparked after Kathy and her BFF Claudia White were spotted at a Las Vegas nightclub partying with Jay-Z and Diddy. In fact, Jay-Z allegedly bought Bought Kathy a twenty-five thousand dollar pair of Louis Vuitton shoes to wear that evening. That, that's that's called big tricking. That's called big tricking, hove. Sources also reported that Jay was very particular about keeping the relationship low key, so he would do things like ask her to bring a couple of friends along for a ride, so it wouldn't look like they were a thing, which is what he did that evening. While they were in Vegas, Jay also reportedly took Kathy on a trip to the Bellagio Casino, asking her to bring a few friends to their table. It looks like Jay was really taking care of Kathy, so much so that her friend Claudia Jordan was reportedly jealous of how Kathy always seemed to pull all the wealthier ballers, and how she had over a hundred thousand dollars worth of bags and. $200,000 worth of shoes and how she could just randomly buy her friend a $3,000 Louis Vuitton bag. So Jay was definitely. So Jay-Z was putting in that work. He was definitely putting in that work to keep her quiet and happy and satisfied doing right by Kathy well until he started seeing her as a liability and that's why it's interesting that in 2020 a blind item from crazy days and nights said this a-list host model is also an actress our host has always stayed quiet about the death of her friend but has become more convinced over the years that the permanent a-list rapper had her friend killed it just seemed too convenient that he wanted her out of the picture and shortly after he said that the friend ended up dead it was then revealed that the a-list host was Claudia Jordan Kathy's friend and the rapper was Jay-Z well as the saying goes Goes, all that happens in the dark will eventually come to light. It didn't take long for people to start putting two and two together and figuring out that Kathy was Jay's mistress. Man, man, man. And it wasn't hard to figure out. And then, like I said, this lady had that damn interview coming up. Jay Z could not let that information slip out about his mistress. He, he did not want that information slipping out, just like Beyonce didn't want that uh, sex tape about her and Pimp C allegedly leaking out as well. They image, they have had the perfect image for a long time. Another couple you might want to look at is LeBron James and his wife. Now, LeBron is on record for saying, ain't no party like a Diddy party. So LeBron been at Diddy parties too, man. Your boy Bron gets down as well, y'all. You might not want to believe King James 
like to swing with Diddy and Cassie and them, but allegedly Savannah and them like to get down at these parties as well. Savannah and, and, and LeBron be at these parties too, y'all. Naturally, they started reaching out to her for comments on the situation. And about two weeks before she passed away, a major tabloid that was investigating the Jay-Z connection allegedly reached out to her. But, and this next part is important, Kathy strongly denied all allegations of having an affair with Jay. I'm not even surprised, given the lengths Jay went to make sure things stayed under wraps. He must have really made it clear to her that the moment she breathed a word about the affair to the public, the gig was up. But either Kathy finally got tired of living a lie, or she figured that with a baby on the way, Jay-Z wouldn't dare leave her hanging. Either way, she decided it was finally time to tell her story, and she allegedly hit Jay up to tell him she was going public with the affair for a price. How and that's where she fucked up at. As soon as she was was airing out that she was going public, it was all over. However, reports reaching us say that first responders to the scene felt her death was suspicious. Also, at the time the news of Kathy passing away from a brain aneurysm got out, it was still too early to know for sure that that's what really happened. Besides, Kathy was young, fit, and healthy before she passed on. So her just randomly dropping dead from a brain aneurysm was just highly unlikely. A detective from the NYPD had this to say about her death. A 911 call from an apartment 130 West 19th Street in Manhattan. An ambulance came and took Kathy because she was sick. They took her to the Beth Israel Hospital, and that's where she expired. It's too early to be speculating that an aneurysm offered her. They will be doing an autopsy later today to check out her cause of death, but someone might have given Kathy a bad drug, so they'll do a toxicology report, and we'll have to wait two weeks for that report. What's crazy is that the report never came through, and even though literally every detective and cop who worked on Kathy's case felt the circumstances were suspicious, her cause of death was still ruled as a brain aneurysm. Girl, it sounds like someone was out there pulling strings to get that whole thing covered up, and this brings us back to Jay. Z. Now check this out. Kathy passed away in early September of 2011. If y'all remember, this was also around the time that Beyonce announced her pregnancy with her and Jay's first child, Blue. The, and it, uh, the timeline adds up. Like if the math starts to math, you know, numbers don't lie, yo. Didn't Hove say men lie, women lie, numbers don't? Come on, Hove. The shit ain't, it's adding up, Hove. Timing is definitely interesting, especially considering all the conspiracy theories we've heard about Beyonce not actually being pregnant at the time, but instead having a surrogate carry her baby. Tabloids at the time started... Spe so remember, y'all? Allegedly, Beyonce didn't even carry that damn baby. Allegedly. That's what some people say. That's all alleged. I don't know. Speculating that Jay might have had Kathy deleted because he didn't want the fallout from whatever story she would have told the blogs to affect his marriage with Beyonce. One blog even wrote that Kathy's death has stirred up some unwanted attention for Jay-Z with claims of a hidden love child in Trinidad and Tobago and Illuminati theorists claiming her death was a sacrifice for the famous couple. What's even more interesting is that all the renewed attention on this case was started by someone who also believes Jay had something to do with Kathy's death, Liz Crokin. Liz wrote an extensive report about the whole thing where she talked about how she reached out to Kathy for an interview about Jay-Z. According to her, Kathy initially denied knowing or ever interacting with Jay-Z until she pulled up pictures showing her hanging out with Jay and Puffy. At this point, Kathy allegedly told Liz that she would consider doing a tell-all about the affair. Then all of a sudden, Liz couldn't get through to Kathy again, and when she finally got a hold of one of her friends, she was informed that Kathy was no more. Some so boom, there you go. This lady was pressing her for an interview, then kind of so this lady kind of put the target on her back, showing her the pictures and stuff, because Kathy wasn't even going to go public. And then this lady kind of hit her up like, hey, I got some pictures of you with him. So what's up? She's like, OK, maybe. And then after that, boom, it, it was over. Some of Liz Crokin's recent tweets about the situation actually brought new attention to the case. In one tweet, Liz said, As I said in a tweet the other day to Jay-Z, I was the reporter who talked to your alleged mistress right before she died, was murdered. I know everything. I know what you did. So go F yourself, Jay-Z. There will be justice for Kathy White. What's also interesting is that it looks like Jason Lee might have been the one who originally spilled the tea about Kathy and Jay-Z's alleged affair because Hollywood Street King reported that their sources got their information from him. Man, 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 man. Jason Leiden found himself into the shit. Jason Leiden found himself into the shit. I mean, you can't make this stuff up, man. Hollywood is Hollywood is a very, very strange place, man. These these people and these characters. It's gonna be a lot of people going to jail, man. Let's get back to this part three, man. It's, it's gonna be a lot of people going to jail behind this situation. I'm gonna be real with y'all, man. Let's go. It's making sense how Jason could literally try and blackmail Queen Bay in front of the whole world. Did I tell y'all what I've done? Okay. I'm going to tell them while Johnny puts a beep over this part of the show, so you'll never know what it is, but I want you to see their reactions, and I'm going to do it right now.
What in the hell is he telling them, y'all? What is he telling them? What the hell did he tell them, y'all? What, what what's going on right here, y'all? What did, what is he telling them? And that's where I go back to like we are friends in the game. We support each other. Yeah, Jason probably has information that would ruin Beyonce if it ever got out. As y'all know, a lot of the OG hip hop guys ran in the same circles. You remember Wendy Williams played around till she couldn't play around no more. Remember Wendy Williams? You got to pay attention to Jason Lee because you got to think about Wendy. Eh? When the time was right. She can't talk about nothing no more. That's just, hey, this industry is a dangerous game. Back then, and did a lot of shady things together. Apparently, while they were out there painting the town red, Diddy was collecting audio and video recordings of all the shenanigans, both legal and illegal, and he's now ready to spill all the tea. In fact, some people are saying Diddy has already started speaking with authorities, and Jay-Z might need to start preparing for the day of reckoning. Jaguar Wright recently said Diddy has released footage of Jay-Z and Beyonce at some of Diddy's infamous freak-off sessions, and now Diddy is allegedly set to reveal all the dirty details of how Jay-Z unalived his mistress to protect his wife. And Diddy is not the only celebrity who feels the same way because Jaguar Wright once talked about how she believed Jay or Beyonce might have done the deed and then hired people to clean it up. Kathy White's life was taken unfairly. She actually died screaming and the Carters are responsible. One of them is just a little more responsible than the other. The question is, did Sean Carter delete his mistress his pregnant his pregnant mistress because his wife was jealous or could it be possible that maybe his wife's temper is just a little worse than most people think and maybe he just had to clean it up to protect the brand sake Anyway, it seems like fans are happy that people are finally talking about Kathy White, and some have even compared it to Kim Porter's death. Yes, I've talked about this woman for years, and it got swept under the rug. Now the light is shining. It's odd that Kim Porter died under similar circumstances. I believe all of this and that Bay profited from Jay's misdeeds. You can't outrun karma. But let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. And you cannot outrun karma. You can't. And uh, that's what that's what's been happening to B. Jay-Z, Diddy, all of the elites, they've been escaping their karma for a long time. But now karma is coming knocking. And, and Diddy can't run away from karma this time. He he cannot outrun karma. That, that, that's the only thing that Diddy's trying to do. He's trying to outrun karma, but it's, it's just too late, Diddy. Your karma didn't caught up to you. You didn't fucked over too many people in this industry. Let's get to this next. Uh, let's get to this blind item right here about Diddy. Hold on. Let's let's connect this real quick. Hold on. Let's talk about this. Lou Taylor is one of Diddy's managers. Is on the board at Hillsong Church Home. Are they the same church? I thought that he left Hillsong to do Church Home, or did Church Home or Hillsong just rebrand as another cult, Church Home? Apparently, they're paying off Diddy victims from that slash fund. Bieber might be funding that for them right now. That's so interesting uh, because, uh, according to you guys, um, Kim Kardashian unfollowed Diddy like literally 24 hours before this raid. Okay, also broke up with Odo Beckham Jr. Uh, like hours you know the day of this raid but we know lou taylor's connection to kim kardashian i mean it's long been rumored that uh kim kardashian or the kardashians benefited from the 600 million dollars missing from Brit what if, what if that money's going to that fund uh but lou taylor like owns or co-owns or has stake in the church that chris jenner uses to shield her income and all of her daughter's income from taxes because she requires they tithe 10 percent of their income to her fake fucking literally strip mall church that's so interesting thank you for that uh contribution claire about you guys see look i took i took the blinds down because it's still there but it was bothering you guys um and i'm trying to not bother anyone i don't want to get another account banned by the way man 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 so it's a lot of loose ends being tied behind the scenes it's a lot of loose ends being tied up behind the scenes, man. Let's let's just go ahead and keep it a big book. A lot of people trying to disassociate themselves with P Diddy. A, a lot of people, but it don't matter. You can you can do what you want, but the the tapes ain't gonna lie. These tapes ain't gonna lie. Do you remember when P Diddy went live with this little girl? My name's Ava. I'm a Scorpio. No, no, no. What's your last name? Oh, Ava Cone. 
Combs. What's your other last name? Ava Baroni. Ava Baroni Combs? Yes, it's, it's breaking news. Diddy adopted a white child. I want, you, I want you to tell them the story about how I adopted you. We, but you still have beautiful parents that, but you're my child also. Please, please tell the story. So, I was on the street, and then Papa Kuhn decided that he would like to be a caring man. So then he saw me and decided to pick me up and said to come inside and play with the kids. That is so weird. I ain't gonna lie. That is, that is very, very odd. Like, why would you? Yeah, I don't know. Hey, hey, but that's like a little bit like borderline suspect. <laughs> I, I don't want nobody. You know, we want to get it clear. I, I adopted you like Madonna adopted kids, and everybody else adopted kids. Charlize Theron. Everybody's ever adopted Sandra Bullock. I adopted you because. And he just went and th threw them celebrity names in there for a reason. Listen to what he, he trying to, wait, wait, you trying to be weird, but hold on, let, let, let's throw these names in the mix. Yeah, yeah, hey, hey, but that's like a little bit like borderline suspect. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want nobody, you know, we want to get it clear. I, I adopted you like Madonna adopted kids and everybody else adopted kids. Charlize Theron, everybody's ever adopted Sandra Bullock. I adopted you because I felt that you could, you know, um, enjoy also having a black parent to take care of you and help you out. So that was now that was weird. Listen to what he's telling us. What the fuck is he talking about? Adopted kids and everybody else. Adopted kids. Charlize Theron. Everybody's ever adopted Sandra Bullock. I adopted you because I felt that you could, you know, um, enjoy also having a black parent to take care of you and help you out. So um, um, just clarify, because it's, it's crazy out here online. So, so <laughs> you played with the kids, and I got permission from your mother. And to say all of that, just make it it's crazy out here. Because um, well, it's, it's crazy out here online. So, so <laughs> you played with the kids, and I got permission from your mother. And to say all of that, just make it it's crazy out here. Um, I met Jesse and Delilah when I was six months old. Six months. And six then months. we basically are sisters. All <laughs> four six of us. So. Six and months. I always come over. Yeah. And, and it's Ava Brioni Combs. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> that was just freaking weird. That was just very, very odd, man. That was just like the icing on the cake to let you know, okay. They said, there's a little boy back there, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what's going on. There was a lot of little kids back there, but <coughs> his neighbors said he had little kids frequent in his house a lot, though. He always, he always had little kids over there. Allegedly. Allegedly. That was weird, though, y'all. I ain't going to lie. That was a little weird. That one kind of like, hold on, Diddy. Like, what you... The fuck you got all these? What, what is what you doing with this little girl, Diddy? What you got going on, fam? For real, like let's 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 be real. What you got going on? Hold on, let's let's continue, y'all. Let's continue. Let's continue to the next video. Man, man, man. Did you hear the other names that are now coming out after P Diddy? You know what's crazy is a lot of people in the public have been calling out these celebs in high realms. People are like, Cat Williams just said it last week. Cat Williams said it last week. We've been saying this for years, bro. This croaking has been on this for like 20 years. She's like known it was going to happen before some of these dudes were even born. Still out there like, no, no, it was just Epstein by himself. There was no one else involved. Yeah, and they're going to lie to us and, and, and throw a uh, cover over our face until I right, just get to the next distraction, y'all. Salute K. Diwali. Says she is why they raided Diddy for real, and people just at now just are now catching on. Pray for her. Salute for your fifth super on the live stream, K. Diwali. Well, now we're hearing things about Prince Harry, and Donald Trump has said a lot of things about how he feels about him. I wish a lot of luck to Harry because he's gonna need it, bro. This has got to be the most wildest one. 
50 Cent is out here calling out Jay-Z like, where you out, bro? Where, I haven't seen him in a while. You know, I last I saw him was by, by Diddy's Jet. I don't know where he's at. You know what's wild? is that as they're raiding P. Diddy's properties, it's important to know it's not just about P. Diddy. It's about all the evidence that he has on other people in those properties. See, we gonna see, we gonna find out. For four years now, I've been saying that the Lord is declaring a season of exposure. And when exposure is declared by the Lord, it gives people an opportunity to repent and turn from their wicked ways, either turn themselves in or they continue to keep running and trying to hide. But what comes next is justice. If you don't give over to the Lord's grace and repent and make things right, justice eventually shows up on your doorstep. And I believe that that is going to be coming at a very high rate of speed to many people very soon. God bless you and have a great day. And that's facts, though. That's facts. It, karma is coming and and God is telling everybody right, right now to get right. He's telling everybody right now, get right. Because, I mean, you can't hide, you can't hide forever, man. I'll be real. You cannot hide forever. <clears throat> but let me listen. Let me let y'all listen to this goofy ass dude right here. Hold on. Listen to this dude right here, man. I don't like P. Diddy. I'm not going to speak bad about P. Diddy because um, he's still a black man. He, he, I mean, he said he ain't going to speak bad about Diddy. Um, mistakes happen, and I can't say if it is. Mistakes happen, he said. Mistakes happen. Well, it's not a mistake, but things happen in life, and P. Diddy business is P. Diddy business. <clears throat> man, you've been sold out a long time ago, Floyd. I'm going to be real with you, dog, allegedly. It's not my job or anyone else's job to go on the internet and, and stump him and kick a man while he's down. Um, my take on it is, it's not my business. So Floyd says, man, mistakes happen. He said, hey, bro, mistakes clearly happen. Um, I don't think it's right at all. And I don't condone it, even if that happened to my <sighs> man, man, man. daughter. I would be hurt, but um, <laughs> that's the choice that my daughter made. Did you just hear that? If that happened to my daughter, I'd be hurt, but that's the choice she made. <laughs> Man, this dude right here. You can't make this shit up. Like I told y'all, Floyd, the only dude that won't speak, he the only dude that's going to speak some light in the Diddy situation. Like, hey, man, y'all leave him alone, man. If, you, if it was my daughter, man, it, it's her choice, man. It's something she did. So he would just blame his daughter. He just went on ahead and said, I just blame my daughter for it, man. It is what it is. I'm just going to. That's her, that's her problem, dog. She she did that. Didn't have nothing to do with me. So what y'all think about Floyd Mayweather basically just saying, hey, he ain't got nothing to do with this shit, man. He He's staying out of it. If it was his daughter, that would just be her fault, basically. If that was his daughter, that would be her damn fault, allegedly. So I don't know, man. Uh, this dude right here is a... Uh, I don't know, man. This dude, P. Diddy and, 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 and company, they got a... I'm gonna be real, dog. They they got a they got a long, lengthy jail sentence awaiting them. They got a long, lengthy jail sentence awaiting them. What y'all think about this, man? Do y'all feel like Diddy is going to get locked up? I think I asked y'all that on a poll. Let's go back and look at this poll. I said, "Well, Diddy go to prison." Eighty-two percent of the people in here, eighty-two percent say he is going to prison and we have over a thousand votes already we already got over a thousand votes on the damn poll already y'all so salute to everyone who has voted on the poll and uh salute to hold on let me get let me get some promo real quick let me get some promo real quick y'all go uh subscribe to valisa amore y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to Valisa or more, I went ahead and subscribe. Hey, uh, y'all, she said she's gonna start going live on YouTube, doing some things on YouTube. Hey, fellas, y'all make sure y'all go check out Valisa or more on YouTube. You know what I'm talking about? Get get her get her going, y'all. Y'all get her, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel if y'all gang. Go ahead and subscribe to her, man. Show her some motherfucking love. You know what I'm talking about? Keep that a big buck. Salute to Valisa or more. You know what I'm talking about? Salute to her. Let me give her her promo. You know what I'm saying? While I get back into my 
receipts over here. Hold on one second. Salute to who is it? I know they got it. If I knew if it was red, it was going to be Crystal Cold. Salute to Crystal Cold for throwing up that uh that honey bun. I appreciate you for throwing that honey bun up. Salute, salute, salute. Hold on. Let me get back to these receipts real quick. Let me open up my receipts. Salute to Crystal Cold, though. I appreciate you. Hold on. Let me highlight that. <clears throat> I appreciate you. It says, I wonder if Diddy had paid Cassie 24 hours earlier and uh, if he had given Lil Rod the 50K he asked for. No, nah, I don't believe we would know none of this. I feel like only reason Diddy is in this situation is because Diddy got greedy. That's what I feel like. I feel like Diddy got greedy, and that's the only reason why we got in this situation. I think his ego got the best of him. That's just what I think. But let's get to this right here. It says, Blessed Day King. So in the early 2000s, when Sean John was popular, my now ex-husband and I had a paint company and we had an employee who used to model for Puffy and told us about the FOs. Puffy invited him to a party. He said Puff required them to be topless. He said as soon as he walked in, it was all types of celebs there having orgies and said they had servers who walked around with whatever drug was your choice. And uh, he was a pretty boy, light skin with a 12 pack and hair going down his back. 18 years old. He had Indian in him. He said once he was asked to go to another private room and they tried to blindfold him. He left and never went to model again. Hey, that's somebody hit me up, told me something about P. Diddy then back in the day. Hey, I've been watching your channel for a minute now. I usually just watch for entertainment. But this Diddy case is really hidden close to home. I've known about this BS for quite some time now. When I moved to Houston, I quickly became familiar with the nightlife and how things work, uh, how things work here. Diddy and many other entertainers have a lot to do with trafficking drugs. They do it through the nightclubs. <clears throat> Look into some of the big promotion groups in Houston. They hire girls and pimp them out to the rappers, athletes, etc. His son is far from innocent. Everyone is saying Diddy putting everything on his sons, but they're not innocent. I know for a fact that his son, Justin, works with Jay Mulan. She has a modeling agency and that uh, you, she uses it to recruit girls. I know a girl uh, that did her model boot camp around 2016. She would make them get dressed up, pop up at the club, the rappers, athletes would pay Jay Mulan, and she would then pay Justin, allegedly, search her name on uh, Lipstick Alley, <clears throat> you'll see. Also, Molo is a big pimp, too. They're all linked in with Diddy, or should I say the Combs, LOL. Sorry I had to contact you from my ghost account for obvious reasons. Well, I know who y'all little who y'all little madam is now, so I'm I'm on that I'm on y'all madam as well. The madam ain't safe. It says, "Hey Ratchet, I'm a business analyst. Let me know what you forecast for hip hop in the next five years. If the feds didn't begin their investigation into Diddy from 2017, Kim Porter first. There is a huge intersection of fame, crime, and the legal system in hip hop. Rumor has it Cardi B home got raided two days ago." And they could be several big celebrities getting a visit from the feds, especially the DEA. Why? Well, we all know that the feds seized a lot of evidence in the unaliving shootings, home invasions, robberies, drug dealing, escorting, kidnapping, and extortion in hip hop, YSL, Young Thug, YNW Melly, Gunna, AR Ab, Casanova, two times, YNFL, YFN, Lucci, uh, and now Diddy. The only people bigger than Diddy is Jay-Z and Beyonce. When big business development money is involved, the PTB can get rid of someone like Dolph who tried to save his neighborhood from becoming a golf course. Memphis is broke due to high crime and loss of the tourist trade. Many black homeowners in Memphis would rather accept cash for their homes instead of losing for uh, instead of losing for pennies under imminent laws uh they will take their money and spend it on they will take their money and spend it all just to be pushed into rented shoe boxes in the boondocks many of the unalivings of people of Dolph's stature is to seize personal assets like real estate cars jewelry and music masters 
from the heirs who have financial problems and don't understand business or their legal rights. I also heard that Yo Gotti sold his childhood home in Memphis to a big housing developer. So how so whatever neighborhood he lived in growing up uh could fall under eminent domain if the city's planned urban renewal plans include the community orange mound and other black memphis uh owned neighborhoods could gradually disappear under the city uh, until the city returns to law and order and the tourist attraction artists in chicago texas and atlanta are likely under rico investigation if any crimes linked to previous uh well, damn it. If any uh crimes linked to previous artists already indicted in prison, their assets are subject to government seizure no matter whose name assets are in. Black people will get pushed further into poverty while the younger generation of talented artists making tons of money are unwilling or interested in gaining the business knowledge to protect themselves, their families, or financial assets. Black people have lost so much land and assets passed down uh from last generations it's so tragic well that's some gems that people probably wouldn't pay attention to that's some gems that nobody will pay attention to but definitely should but you got to stay woke on this stuff man <clears throat> so we got to wake up at one point at some point we will wake up but it'll probably be too late by then right by the time we wake up it'll be over so does anybody want to chop it up with me about anything y'all heard in this Diddy case today? Does anybody want to hit the link? Hit the link. Hit the link. I'm going to throw it down in the chat. It's a StreamYard link. Put your username into the, uh, put your username and your password, excuse me, username and your email. That's how you uh, call into the show. Hit the StreamYard link. Uh, type in your username, your email, whatever, whatever. Hit me up. You know what I'm talking about. This case is loose, though, man. What y'all think about the Diddy case, though, man? Uh, I'm going to end that poll we had at the top of the chat. I'm going to end that poll. Let me see. Y'all already said Diddy going to prison, so I'm going to just leave it at that. Diddy ass is going to jail, man. The chat is spoken. They saying you're going to jail. I don't know, man. This case, like I said, I'm out of damn breath now, man. I feel like we've been on a, we've been running a marathon tonight with all this damn content. I didn't want to overwhelm y'all with too much but I, I feel like we were just all over the place but we had to be because this case is deeper than you think it, it it doesn't just tie into it doesn't just tie into uh just the music industry it ties into the entertainment industry as a whole so stay woke man this this, this shit is about to get real deep and it's gonna get real scary real soon this is about to get real scary real soon i'm gonna be real with y'all man what y'all think though what y'all think though let me know in the chat let me read some comments hold on man let me let me read a few comments hold on gang all right it says feds don't miss he going to jail diddy is done diddy will like jail lots of men in there it says domino effect it's happening they are cloning him and uh yeah let's go ahead and get you to hell up off my channel pack it up get the fuck up off my channel Get your goofy ass on. Man, man, man. It says, oh, blame Yella. He told the cops offset was GD. It says, it's entertainment, politicians, government, and other. It says, justice for B.I.G. This case is loose as Diddy blank. <laughs> How about Blue is Kathy's daughter, they said. They saying Blue is Kathy's daughter. Wow, Miss Callie. Hit the link, Miss Callie. What you what you talking about, Miss Callie? What you got going on? You saying Blue is is Kathy's daughter, but allegedly they say Beyonce wasn't even never pregnant. Allegedly, Miss Callie. That's what rumor has it. They saying Beyonce was never even pregnant in the first place. It says his AI will be in prison. He threw dark, he threw Dirk under the bus, saying he beat he just giving information for free. No four for four, no bev. Just uh what's that? Just to talk like what the F? She talking about some Chicago shit. They said most people with power and money never really answer for the crimes. It says Z is done too. Who the hell is Z? Oh, just my Jay-Z. Said, dang, I was in that earlier. It said Diddy done did it. I believe she was, I believe she was either. I believe she never was either. Blue is not B's child. Y'all don't believe uh Blue Ivy is Beyonce's child? 
Is Blue Ivy Beyonce child chat? Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the chat. Is Blue Ivy Beyonce's daughter? See, y'all done threw a, a curveball. They saying, man, it's not her daughter, man. Drop the nose of the yeses. They saying, yes, she is. Yes, yes, yes. They saying, yes. The chat saying, hold on, y'all got beef fucked up. The beehive is up in this bitch. A lot of people saying no. I see a lot of no's. I see, damn. Say justice for Kim Porter. Salute, VB. Say, yes, Blue certainly is. The chat is split on this one. I ain't gonna lie, she looked like a, a mixture of Jay-Z and Beyonce. I ain't gonna lie, she looked like a complete 50-50 mix of both of them. I ain't gonna even lie about that. When I look at that little girl, I see both of them in the face. But they saying no, though. I don't know. Y'all, the chat threw me for a curveball with that one. They saying Blue Ivy is not Beyonce kid. Well, damn. Y'all like they over here taking kids, too. I know that... Uh, Kathy, I mean, I know Jay-Z had something to do with that, just like I know they had something to do with Pimp C as well. I know they had something to do with Pimp C and Kathy, and they were doing that to clean up their names and clean up their mess, the mess that they made a long-ass time ago. Let's go ahead and keep that a big book. Because they made a – Diddy made a deal with the devil a long time ago, allegedly, and uh, while he made this deal, he thought he could turn his back and make his own money and make his own way. But that's not the way this goes, Diddy. That's not the way this goes. You probably thought, you probably thought you could do this, man. You probably figured you could do this and get away with it, but nah. It's over, Diddy. The road ends here. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. The road ends right here, Diddy. Is everybody over here subscribed to the channel? Because this video did a lot of numbers. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all make sure if you're not subscribed to this channel, this is one of the hottest platforms on YouTube. One of the hottest up and coming platforms on YouTube, man. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure y'all smash that like button so this gets trending down the algorithm, y'all. We need this to trend down the algorithm. Let's go. Keep it a big buck. <sighs> Let me read some comments, man. Man, man, man. It says, All the world is a stage. It says, Blue and the twins are bees, period. they saying this is the number one talk show. They say, man, Chad Butler OD. Chad Butler did not OD. They say, exactly, he should have known better. If you believe Pimp C OD'd, you a fool. But, you know, it's all good. It said, Diddy may have been Dame Dashed. There you go. It says, she not, do y'all not remember B Belly folding on national TV? You can't tell no Beehive fan that. You can't tell no Beehive fan that. They said, they showed the twin girls more than the boy. She's not. Uh, her it says she's not her daughter. Hit the like button. I believe a hey, says facts. She looked like Beyonce and she looked like Jay Z to me. I don't know. I don't know. Say Kelly's son definitely Jay's. What Kelly's son is definitely Jay's son. It says I saw an article or something where B was doing an interview and she sat down and her stomach went flat. Also, another time it fell. I ain't gonna lie, man. That that. I never thought Beyonce was pregnant. It was all weird. That the whole thing was weird, but the baby do look like a mixture of both of them. So it's just weird. I don't know. I don't know, man. Beyonce and Jay Z, like I don't know, bro. Salute to S Washington Washington for gifting Sweet D, Anthony Bryant, a Riri K, and Taquan Great House a membership. Salute to you. I appreciate you for gifting them those memberships. S Washington. It says, hey. Had a Wendy, he had a Wendy Williams moment, stomach collapsed like a cake. Allegedly, cake love, uh, cat said cake love. So you just, you said cake, cat love. Salute to cat love for being a member for five months. Top G my. Make sure you uh get in contact with me or Sapphire on Instagram or if you know my Instagram, hit me up on Instagram so I can get you in touch with Sapphire. She could drop her Instagram in the comments. But if you need your mod wrench. Uh, you gotta get it. Uh, she gotta tell you how to get it. So you know what I'm saying. Tap in. I got you though, cat. You know what I'm talking about. But yeah. Uh, let's see. But I do appreciate you for being a member for five months, cat. Salute to you. Salute. 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 It says, "B had the baby like you have a baby on soap operas." I ain't gonna lie. I thought she was pregnant like three months later. She had a baby. I was like, "Hold on, wait, what? Wasn't she just pregnant?" But she do look just like her. I ain't gonna lie. It's a great show, Ratchet. Much gratitude. Salute, Heidi. Salute to you, Heidi. They used her egg and, and his sperm 
and another woman carried her to not right now son i'm working to merch oh what's well, your salute to you cat it's all good just just keep on you know what i'm saying supporting it it's all good i got you cat <clears throat> it's all good she said fuck it i'm just supporting i ain't mad at that cat they said that's not her child I said but thank you i said no factually like a pancake well I don't know if that's the, I don't know what's going on with the shit. I just know Jay Z and Beyonce definitely on some weird type of time. They on some weird type of time that I just can't get with. I'm gonna be real with y'all. So this video right here, we got a lot of replay value with this video, y'all. I ain't gonna even lie to y'all. So we gonna be back tomorrow night, man. We finna jam some music over here. I feel like this video got a lot of replay value. I appreciate everybody for popping in and uh showing up showing out salute to lisa james for that 20 piece mcnugget salute to terrence hunter so do you think the officials are connected with diddy salute for that two-piece man a lot of people connected in with this shit said diddy did it salute lisa james i appreciate all y'all know what i'm talking about hey man this was a dope ass show i ain't gonna lie this this is one of them great ones right here we went up on this one man i'm gonna be real this was one of them great shows and that's why i want to end it right here because i feel like we still got a lot of replay value with this content so with that being said we coming back tomorrow man your boy ratchet takes over man you know what i'm saying it's always the ratchet takeover man we just better than everybody else let's just keep that a big buck man i love y'all more than y'all will ever know it's your boy big ratchet no to my speaking of my boy chad Oh, let's get some Pimp C going. I'm out, gang. 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 I'
Yeah, I ain't never flip, flip. I don't think none of y'all niggas flipping yeah. these motherfuckers pack that I'm getting. And I ain't worried about none of these little broke ass niggas. All uh-huh. these bitches, bitch. Everything a nigga do out here, yeah. these streets they just gon' mimic. Mimic. Ten five hundred for a shoulder, nigga gon' boogie. I ain't no gimmick. No I'ma call six point nose and fix one. Yeah, yeah, they hemming. Hemming. That nigga really have motion. I just stir the whole damn mimic. Make a play with white and end up build her up, make feeling. Really made a killer, killer. Off the back, I'm ceiling, ceiling. Never been in love, cause I can't uh-uh. really catch no feeling, no feeling. Never had no nine to five, uh-uh. cause I love drug dealing, drug dealing. Get up in that field, a nigga going ass the wheel, a wheel. Be the block, hook yeah. to the dope, all gone. gone. Yeah, trapping real, real hard. Yeah. Off a of two phone, both phone. Ladies and gentlemen, live in this motherfucker. Sit back and vibe. That's another DJ family exclusive. And you know how we do it on the west side. Wow. You know, bitch. You gon' hit your ass up. <laughs> How shall I please? Forever thugging on a quest to get G's Running from enemies ever since the days of a sea I'm under pressure, the stressor had me drinking Thinking niggas have to be much too paranoid to blink Wonder why the police don't want to see me stacking G's They have to replace it, but I won't let them capture me I gotta thank the Lord for the weed and the nicotine I can't sleep, close my eyes and see wicked things I keep my pistol by my bedside One in the chamber, preoccupied with homicide My life's in danger, rolling down the 45 Beware strangers, hand on my 45 That's what the thing does I'm probably wrong, but I'll never know it till I'm gone From out the gutter where the jealous motherfuckers wrong Pass the weed, let that Hennessy get to me Before the penitentiary Let's get it like on Like 11 cop back, niggas better duck down Yeah, yeah niggas Fuck the police Can't fuck with us, fuck with us. Rep, representing Bucktown, like 11 cop back, niggas better duck down. Niggas. Why? Pass the weed, let that Hennessy get to me before the penitentiary. Let's get it on. Niggas know who's the mind blower, the weed grower. Have you seen doubles like Noah, the rhyme flower, B I G. Top notch with the clock, check your pocket, uh. send your sockets. Just yeah. the way my pops taught me when I throw the drop, check them thoroughly. The bastard might spin around and try to bury me And dead men don't make no moves While I'm swinging in the hood, I don't think no moves, alright? Reminiscing on my swinger days When I drove a caddy and my big sported thing away Yeah, she had the Gucci boots I had some Gucci suits Oshkosh, Bagosh, Coca-Cola, looking real cute Junior Mafia representing Bucktown Mac 11, cock back, niggas said duck down Face down, you know the routine, the cream Earrings, you know the drama, Biggie bring. Let's get it like on. Let me cop back, niggas better duck down. Duck down, duck down, duck down. Yeah, niggas. Fuck the police. You can't fuck with us. Fuck with us. Rep- representing Bucktown. Let me like cop back, niggas better duck down. Duck down, duck down. Niggas. Why? Wow. Pass the weed, let that Hennessy get to me before the penitentiary. I'ma get fried right, move the syrup, I'm tryna get high tonight So we gon' pass by, I'ma try that shit as soon as they hit in the light Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, with your geek like me Do you like Miley Cyrus, or you like Virgil White? I done been jumping off with straight fuckers and needles, I earn my stripes But with the gang, get up with the family, what if they wrong or right? Family, with the cash transaction, know we can be some swipes Carry my chest as a kid, I can see my pipe, you protect my life, I know my right I must be a girl like a nigga, I friend you Look at she bad, she working that ugly I gave her a sack full of money, she bought it She back in the game with something to do Better bad demons running They look at it, do nothing to it, ain't nothing She fuck with a ball, she upgraded from her last Nigga said he want nothing Her nigga ain't seen no money Fresh out the trap, we stepping and gun. Meet me at poker, meet me at four Nigga won't smoke a beef, we coming Look at these big boy toys, they gorgeous All these gorgeous girls running I be ignoring them, they be ignoring me I be ignoring them, psych, we fucking Fuck your man, no, she can't answer the phone that's how she gettin' that bag on her own No, I'm not alone, cause I came with the fire I'm still gon' put it on, and my bitch match my vibe The way the load drop, she might think it's out the sky I'm standing on business, and she's standing on mine 